Sana mga lalaki makaya kuya dawa dawa. Mga bagay we are again at alba na tinam tanga. It's 90 minutes that separates a dream coming true and going home to try again. 90 minutes to change your life. Go and learn more. Become you can follow us on all sorts of social media at SABC underscore sport on Twitter and of course myself it's at Andy Lengube. I'm not alone. I'm with at Lompo Kikana as well as uh, at Pumuzo Manenze. Pumuzo, second game. They've had the privilege of more time to relax. They've had the privilege of watching who they'll meet in the finals. Build this game up for me. I think when you look at Magezi first, um, I think the way they were prepared to come to these playoffs. Mm. Did you see Turndo Stadium last week? Oh. It was filled. A feast for football. So the pressure of playing in front of a crowd, a pressure of playing for something worthwhile, like mm -hmm. getting promoted to the Glad Africa. I think Magezi is better prepared. Northwest, they are playing at home. The only team with a clean record. Two games, two wins. They are, they are in the semifinals now. They are playing at home. Will they be able to handle the pressure now in the semifinals? We saw MM Platinum controlling the pressure. They are now in, in Glad Africa. They are waiting for who's joining them in the final and who's joining them in Glad Africa. And of course, when you get to the finals, the difference between 600,000 uh, prize money and a million rand. Mm. So there's a lot to play for here. But Gamudlo Wabalela Pumozo Umboza Gaure non ale crowd in chi eleven let's find about Baba Bala Goma Gis in the Golaba Pala Vend. But I've got say I've got home ground advantage. Yeah. I've also losing game A one, the Northwest University. Mm -hmm. They've won the only team that's won both their games. Yeah. And they've got the home crowd behind them. Mm. Surely, surely they've got a huge advantage. Advantage in Alabama Nitapan. Uh, looking at the way they've been together as a team, these are the teams that uh, they've been uh, running as a, as a like, development side. The, school, the university, they bring them uh, you know, um, a platform to study even while you're playing for, for, mm. for, 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 Pretoria, for, for the university. Mm. So looking at Magezi, Magezi as well, they've been in the, in the, in the prom promotional pro playoffs for, for quite some time now. They have been doing that uh, in the consecutive way every year. They've been in the, into the playoffs. So these are two teams that I believe one, one is playing at home with uh, the crowd that is be rallying behind them. The other one is coming with a huge experience of, of, of Jake Lidova and, and the team that has been competing in that space for, for quite some time. How big is a coach's influence in these games? Because you speak about Jake Lidova mm. being a, an experienced coach, but once again, we spoke a little bit earlier with Linton Lassen, and I'm like, I'll figure out figure, Lizel Finia, Lugutil Pume, the mini log that we're talking about. So, how big is an influence? Um, when you're looking at Jake Lidova, um, former top goal scorer in the, in the PSL. Mm. Um, he has played in the PSL for a long time. Um, I'm sure he's sharing his experience with these players to say, um, if you get to Glad Africa, you are one foot there. When you get to Glad Africa, then you, you try and get to the, to the PSL mm -hmm. elite, which is the DSTV. So his influence is, is very important. He's, he's very high in confidence. You'll hear later when he speaks to uh, Uvusiwe. He says, I'll talk to you on Sunday. So talk, he's going to the final. Talk to you on Sunday means uh, uh, I'm going to the final. Mm. Is he overconfident? Is he arrogant? That's what, that's what I was going to ask. That, that, is, that is the big question. Is it rubbing off the players? What is rubbing off the players? Confidence or arrogance? That is the big question that will be answered by this game. The quality of football mm -hmm. that we just saw yeah. in the match that came before this one, mm -hmm. not great. Yeah. It's always the case in, in the matches of, of this nature where you are fighting just to get that sport into your final and, and be promoted. You're not looking to play pretty. All you have to do is make sure that you close, you close the, 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 the back door and open the, the, the door in, in, in front. You must score goals for you to, to take you to the, to the finals. And, I, and I'm looking at Jake Ildova as an, as an influence. Mm. He's going to be a very vital to Magazi team. Looking at the strikers that he has, he has Baloi, a young one from Zvedela, who mm. likes to run, likes to be in the box. Mm. But I'm sure he's going to get the coach's experience to so somebody who has been in the box for, to for quite some time. He has been the leading goal scorer, as Pomuza said. So for sure, he's going to help the poor kid just to be composed in this big match. I'm sure they know the importance of this match, and I'm sure they want to win the match. Well, let's take a look at the mini-logs, of course, and how uh, that's uh, planned out so far and how it is that we're now left with just three teams. And, of course, yesterday, 
Thursday was a big youth day for many who play in these leagues that are the youth. I'm quite strong in Real Madrid. Little calm. <laughs> Here of the nation, 3-1. <laughs> Summerfield Dynamos, that's the team that is coached by Trenton Larson, losing from this very team that we're talking about, 3-1. They always say, um, yet so close, but yet so far. Um, when you're looking at spear of the nation, um, those results don't matter anymore. The only result that matters now is Northwest University uh, winning uh, uh, their game by three goals to one. That's the game that they couldn't keep a clean sheet. In their first game, they kept a clean sheet against Bayern. They couldn't have Bayern or Real Madrid, South Africa, my thought. National playoffs. This is yesterday's game. But Trumpo will take us through now as we take a look at the playoffs and the groups that have been Mike AC, MM Platinum, Northwest University. Have these been the best performing teams yet? Well, so far, um, it can tell you that they, they've been doing very well in the group stages. But like I said in the beginning, that you don't have to look at this because this can deceive you. Mm. As uh, so Jingle has told us the other day, she said, this is the way real football starts, where you have to win the match. And whether you, you win it by an own goal, it still counts. It still takes you to, 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 to the NFT. Well, let's look at the difference between my case. You played two games, of course, alongside with uh, the one that topped Group C, which is Northwest University. Four goals Northwest University scored and only one against them. In opposition to that, it's five goals that Makesi might have scored, Pomozo, but mm. I'm looking at that, and all I see is the three goals conceded. Now, you're looking at two teams that have topped their group, um, Northwest uh, winning both their games, Makesi drawing one and also winning one. But the key here would be, Makesi have not managed to keep a clean sheet in all the games that they've played. When you're looking at uh, um, in Northwest, they've kept a clean sheet. When we take you to the previous semi-finals, it's the team that had the best defense that won the game in Platinum. Mm. Now, the, the other team had scored five goals also, Spear, but they couldn't defend goals. So they ended up dropping out of the semi-finals. M, MM Platinum, they, they had a clean sheet in their previous game. They were yet to concede, in fact, in, mm. the, in, in, in the group stages. They go through to the final. When you're looking at Magezi and Northwest, Northwest has the best defense. Take away the two games that we saw the three goals, 3-1, three, 3-1, one, three, one, right? Mm. Generally, the scoring rate has been low. Even in the past game here, yeah, MM Platinum versus Spear of the Nation, 1-0 mm. again. Are we to expect the same from how these two teams, Magez and Northwest, play? For sure. Uh, this is a match where, like I said, everyone wants to make sure that they consolidate for, 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 for the longest period of time. Allowing not to allowing other opposition to, team to come and, and threaten their box, mm. so they will try by all means to cancel each other. Mm. So uh, this is the match where half chances will make you win the match, and the, by by the looking at the way uh, 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 the university has been applying themselves, they have an upper hand by winning two games, mm. which is Magezi. They haven't uh, won the, the, the two matches. They mm. won one and they drew one, which then give them another chance to say, in this kind of match. You, you don't have to act, you don't have to, to concede. You just have to, to score and make sure that you, you, you shut the back door. Hmm. In playoffs, we talk about game management on the field. Yeah. Now, I, I, I'm speaking about game manage, um, player management of the field. These guys, they have no rest. They, they've been playing every day. Mm. There's no time to train. There's no time to regenerate. So how the coach refreshes his team in terms of the depth of his squad, who does he have on the bench that he can bring in that has not been playing in the, in the, in the build-up to, to, to the semi-finals? Mm -hmm. That will be key. So Jekyll Idwaba, with the experience, I might say, mm, he has coached in the Glade Africa before, he has got a bit of experience, but the fresher team will win because mm -hmm. we won't mm -hmm. see a high tempo in this semi-final. Well, I can't wait to see the starting 11s, but um, of course, let's now hand you over to Uma Polo, Uma Shemashe, Uma Uvosiwa, who's out in Pochefstrom, and let us set the scene for us as to how goes it there. 
Thank you, Andile. Good afternoon to you and of course our viewers at home and welcome back to Island Park Stadium all the way in Patch of Stream as we bring you the second semi-final of the ABC Mutsipe League playoff games. Now, earlier on today, we saw MM Platinum through Super Sapo Bethwell Takane finding a last-minute goal to book their place in the final. And now we ask ourselves the question, which of these two sides between Imagesi from Limpopo as well as Northwest University will be meeting up against them in Sunday's final. We'll have to wait for 90 minutes on the field of play to give you an answer to that question. But in the meantime, I must tell you, everyone out here at Island Park Stadium, so the conditions, as you can see, both teams behind me warming up and getting ready for this encounter. This is the moment that they've been building up to the whole season, and he is certain that they will be in Sunday's final. But that will not be the case if Coach Mahasela has anything to do with that. He says, unlike some of the teams we've seen in these playoffs, getting quite jittery and nervous as a result of the cameras being here on the field, they play in the Varsity Cup. They're used to this pressure. They're used to the cameras, and they are here just to get the job done. Both teams making a number of changes to their starting 11. For Iqam Bugelayoge in Northwest University, one of those changes being due to an injury and the other two are tactical changes. And unfortunately, for a coach Lidwaba or Makesi, both of his changes to his starting eleven are forced to changes. Ningizim Africa. They get promotion to the Glad Africa Championship and they play in Sunday's final for 1,250,000 rand. That's what the winner takes home. And of course, the runner up will be walking away with 600,000 rand. None of these teams have lost a game so far in these playoffs, but today, one of them will be walking away as a loser. Which one will it be? You have to wait and see. Right now, we take it back to Andile and the team in studio. You look at that, and there's a lot at stake here. Mm -hmm. Number one, whoever wins here is guaranteed over 500,000, either 600,000 rand mm -hmm. or a million, which goes a long way in these lower divisions for that money. Number two, the chance to be more professional, because once you move from the ABC to the NFT, mm -hmm. you are now playing professional football. Mm -hmm. It also opens up a window for you, uh, for DSTV Premiership teams to go shop. Mm. You are in the window for, for them to go shop. It's not often that PSL teams will go to ABC Mutsipe to go get players. So rather go to their uh, reserve side, to their mm. development teams to go get players. So in this instance, you even standing a chance to earn a salary. Because at AB, ABC Mutsipe, you get a stipend. It's not a salary. At, at Glad Africa, you're going to get a salary. You can improve home. You can improve the lifestyle that, that you are living. You can take yourself to school to be able to, to be educated so that you have something to fall back on. So it's a big step that these two teams are standing in front of. It's also, these playoffs, they're live right now. We're showing them the country's watching. There's no DSTV Premiership. It's an opportunity to showcase your talent mm. as an individual. It's a big stage for, for these boys, and I believe they know uh, the importance of them uh, being there because that, I believe they've worked so hard, you know, for the, to put themselves in that space. So it's for them to jump that last hurdle to make sure that they are in the in the in the in the NFD. But, <laughs> Which I will come in handy. Karabo, he play Lo Rojo development there, super sport, and he has seen, I think he has played in Pumalanga Black Aces at some point. Mm. So I'm sure he will wrap off with that experience that he has been in that space, in a mm. competitive space. So for sure, he want to improve the lives of, of their players. For sure, they want to put them in that space where they will think properly, they will think like professionals. Slompo, the other thing, Andile, Abu Ilenka Guri, you have a chance as an individual. Yeah. To shine, but that then takes out the group tactics of the uh, of the team. Oh, what of shine only one? Mm. It means the team will suffer because you are not playing within the tactical approach of the mm. coach and the team. So yeah. I would rather say, let's win as a team. Area of shine, I want to go finaling because you 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 really have nothing to play for in the final because you're already in the Glad Africa. Well, let's go. You've spoken much about him. Let's hear what he's there to say. What his tactical analysis of this match is going to be an approach, of course. It's Jackie Ledwaba. Coach of my KSC, Jackie Ledwaba, joins us now. Coach, so far unbeaten in these playoffs. Yini Enzo Yenze ground in Namhlanje from a tactical approach point of view. Ukkansegi Sugutini has tolanigo final yangesondo. 
Uh, we're going to play our normal game as usual, but we're going to be at least a little bit cautious because, you know, we're in the semis. In the semis, we need to be tight. We need to be cautious. We won't sit back, we won't defend, but we'll be cautious, but we'll attack them. As they have quality team, we know they've got energy energetic players, same like us. If you can check the way they're playing, we're, we're playing more or less the same, so it's going to be an, a tight affair. Coach, maybe perhaps just talk us through the changes that you've made to your starting 11 and also some areas of concern that you may have going into this encounter. We know in the previous semi-final, fatigue was a definite concern for the two coaches. Yes, if you can check uh, our boys, you know, they are they are their fit. You know, we prepared for these playoffs. We can play five games We've been preparing the way we're going to play these playoffs. We've been playing two to three games uh, consecutively so, so that they are ready for this uh, tough game. And the other thing, there are some changes, yes, of course, because of their first changes. If you can check, uh, Lituaba won't be here, our central midfielder, and he was the one who was making us tick. And our left back, uh, Mukoni, the one who was overlapping and giving us some crosses, you know, they are crucial changes, you know, we'll miss them, but the ones that are going in to replace them, they'll give their best. I believe in them, I trust them. Well, there it is, the man that's going to be leading my KSC, a team that I've got a feeling is very well supported in studio. Yeah, it's very well supported, uh, Ritual Limpopo. <laughs> <laughs> Limpopo di Ayani. Um, Looking at the team, Andile, uh, what sticks out will be jersey number 10, Karabo Moses, uh, a playmaker for them, a deep-lying uh, playmaker. He's the one with the champagne passes to find the likes of uh, Siema that is running down the wing, Mulapo on, on the left, but up top, uh, Mahoha, Soli, jersey number 20 will also be important uh, for them. So that's what I'm, I'm looking at when I'm looking at this team, uh, them playing a 4-2-3-1 formation, but in modern football, formation doesn't mean anything because there's tactical flexibility where the coach can change formations without changing personnel. So for me, the key player will be Karabo Moses with the jersey number 10. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, uh, Baloi Bafedile. Uh, there's a player that you need to keep an eye on him. I think he's, he's, he's hungry for goals and uh, he has been, been doing well, uh, very well in, uh, in, the, in the league. So I'm sure um, he's going to try to, to, to copy the, what he has done in the league and try to bring it into the playoffs. And I'm sure it's going to be very vital for Marquez. Makesi Football Club, there they are, in perfect formation. The boys looking at their future, looking at changing their lives, looking at fulfilling a dream long, long awaited. Makesi FC in the warm-up setup. Let's move on to Karama Sele, who of course is the coach on the other side, because he says he knows him too well, Klumpo. He didn't make it to the heights of South African football yeah. as what he would have wanted to, but he wants to get there now as a coach. Coach of Northwest University, Karabo Masichela, joins us now. Coach, so far unbeaten in these playoffs. And yesterday, you managed a 3-1 victory against your former coach, uh, against Summerfield's Dynamis. to ensure that you find yourselves in Sunday's final. Uh, thanks for the platform. Uh, it's a totally different ball game today. Uh, we, the boys are well motivated. They're jacked up for today's game. And basically our approach uh, for today's game is we, we're counting for three points. That's what matters at the end of the day. Uh, uh, psychologically, they're ready. We managed to uh, you know, achieve what we wanted to achieve after the game, after yesterday's game, in terms of uh, regeneration, recovery and so forth. So we spoke to them this morning and you could see that uh, the boys are well motivated and ready for the game. Coach, from a tactical point of view, we see that there are certain formational changes you're making. Bring us into the reasons behind that and perhaps just talk us through those changes in terms of the personnel. No, basically it's a matter of uh, how we are going to manage the game. It's all about game management today. We're, you know, we're looking in at how are they going to firstly approach us. Uh, and then I think maybe in the first interval of the game, which is the first 15 minutes, We'll see and study them on how are they going to basically approach us. And then I guess from there, we'll see on how can we exploit them. Well, there's a coach that speaks all the buzzwords I've been hearing in studio. The regeneration, uh, the, the, the game tactic management, all of that. And uh, Sambo, Mankalogwen, 
this is the squad that he's brought out to do what he said. Mm. Yeah, sure. The, the players, they are not much aware of the importance of the, the instruction from the coach. Uh, of course, uh, in this kind of a match where uh, tactics didn't really, really play a part, but uh, how the, the, the players have to apply themselves and make sure that they are mentally strong to take the pressure. Because more than anything, it's a pressure match where one goal can t change your life. So they will want to make sure that they apply their, their tactics well. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, uh, the coaches has encouraged the, the, the players to, to make sure that they, they stick he to the plan. He says he has, he says he has. But uh, one thing he says that promotes as well is that how he'll be watching, so he'll be a reactionary coach. Because he says, I'm going to be watching them to see what they do. Um, the first coach, Jekyll Duaba, says uh, they've got similar players. Uh, they've got the similar approach. It means that they might cancel each other out. And uh, the key would be uh, Ulindelani and Kabinde in midfield. Uh, you've got Israel Matani in midfield. Those are two defensive midfielders. But up top, that's where Katleo uh, Tzotet is. Um, he's mobile. Um, uh, he holds up the ball and brings in the likes of Shupi and, and Taibos. Uh, so the approach is going to be very important. Both teams are playing a 4 2 3 1 formation. But the key would be in the critical phase of the game, as the coach says, the first 10 15 minutes will be important for them, especially playing at home, to say, let's not concede. But mm. let's try and get an early goal so that the crowd or, or the, the home crowd can get behind them. Tombo, how do you see this one playing out? Okay, if I'm a guess, one zero. Obani. Obani, Kitty Miller and Kinana are in the experience here all over of the university. Tombo, do you agree? I think when you look at it, you have to look at um, what they've done in preparation or what they've done in the group stages. Magezi has scored five goals. They've considered three. But when you're looking on the other side of Northwest, they've scored four, considered one, one clean sheet. So one team scores goals, but they are, they are not able to defend. That is Magezi. When you're looking at Northwest, they are the defending goals. They've got a clean sheet. They've only considered one. Did they only concede one because the opposition was not strong enough? That is the big question. When you compare the two squads, I think the game is going to be won on the technical bench today. Mm. The brains are going to win this game. And when you go to that technical bench, that's where the experience of Jekyll Idwawa comes in. Having played in the PSL, having won top goal scorer in the, in the PSL in previous season, having coached in the Glad Africa before. So I'm giving this one to Magezi to edge by two goals to one. Northwest, if uh, you want something, <laughs> I'm with you here. Because, man, you know, <laughs> the home ground advantage. Let's take it up. <laughs> of course, to our commentary team, they're waiting to give you this game. I'm talking about uh, Ray Ray, Ray Kuhn, as well as Intobia Laikaya. What you'll see me here. The ABC Mutsepe League playoffs has arrived and it's penultimate stop. We're just one game away from knowing what Sunday's final will look like. Northwest University rounded off their group stage campaign undefeated and perfect with two wins to their name. The high-flying NWU team will come face to face this afternoon against Limpopo based Magesi FC. A very warm welcome to you for the final time. This Friday, it's semi-final time and it's Northwest University locking heads with Magesi FC. Still waiting in the tunnels. Ever so nervous, ever so composed, ever so focused. Waiting for their time to shine this afternoon. A lovely turnout here this afternoon, it must be said. The crowd turning up in their drips and drabs. Looking to spoil themselves to some young and exciting football and see what young talent is lying deep within our nation's borders. But kickoff is expected shortly. But just before we get there, Youth Day was celebrated in the perfect manner yesterday with almost all teams needing a win to extend their stay in this season's playoff competition. And for many, it was almost as if it was a quarter-final round yesterday. And for Northwest University, they overcame a resurgent KZN Summerfield Dynamos team exceptionally well but now it is time the second semi-final the final semi-final it's northwest university the home team clashing heads with the travelers from limpopo magesi fc the men in blue all blue taking on that light blue and purple team of course all the referees and all the linesmen 
Ready? It's such an important game for both these teams. As we saw in the previous encounter, it's a life-changing game. Magesi FC or Northwest University, who will join MM Platinum, Platinum in the Glad Africa Championship next season and who will join them in Sunday's final? Only time will tell and we'll have that answer for you in 90 minutes or so time but just a reminder ladies and gentlemen there is no extra time if the game does end in a draw it goes straight to a penalty shootout and so definitely a knockout-esque kind of a fixture just for final warm-ups for Northwest University to go through their paces Conditions today, of course, no different from what we saw and felt throughout the week. So you would suggest that the players of these semi-final teams have adjusted to the conditions here in Potterstrom. The referee today, the man in the centre field, the man with all the spotlight on him, Ambungile Tom, in the centre field and taking charge this afternoon. We saw some antics, especially after the final whistle. And the referee was indeed the centre of that when that final equaliser was scored in the final embers of the game. Some drama then, some complaints maybe towards the referee. So a lot of work to do and a, quite an uphill task facing Mr. Referee Abungile Tom this afternoon. Those team sheets will come for you shortly, ladies and gentlemen. But there, Magesi FC, their final team talk. And of course, Magesi FC, the coach, Jackie Ledwaba, did mention some changes due to suspension. Uh, they are missing Ledwaba, the man that was making them tick in the midfield. So Siango, Moses and Sima making up that three in the center of the park. And as well as Massimolo and Rassi Oana making up the heart of that defense. Not many changes for Magesi FC. And Jackie Ledwaba will be hoping to stick with that winning formula and carry it through and potentially book a spot in Sunday's final. But a tactical lineup here. It's a 4 2 3 1 formation. We've often seen this throughout the tournament. Most teams going for that diamond formation. Maposa as well as Moses and Sinango just behind Molapo. There's Seaman Beloy providing support in the wider areas. I'm, of course, not alone today. I'm joined by Tuli Mia. Asbongege, ega kuluge, erege, spindege, esimamge, le footige, umbi, umbuge, lige, la panage, kayage, jangoboge, ubona, ekempuge, layoge, in Northwest University, kempuleli, engaya zindu, footige, ilona kempulotum, eli winege, yombili, imsalo, ialoge, esulege, basalage, ene kempu, elonage, eline wini, ene trog, otoge, we are born with him, or basalage, ganjano, umatane, ubuile, emapalini, or corner footige, naila panage, uliseko, or motepe, naige, information. Four or two, three, one. We are born again in Kuku, who takes corner, Abazenzil, Lisa Nolo, Oyan Kenage, and I'm Sanjaga, Unkenage, and Tawenika, Israeli, and Machane, Oli Mele, Umandisi, Gaza, Oshaiga, Ekoli, and Gaskatiga, Betaga, E. Dynamosi, or San Osezge, and Kapanz, and Kobaga, Uli Mele, in Tawaya Ketatra, or Kuta, no, or Motapa, Jacobaga, Ubonage, in Amapenchi, or Mabilige, Alla, Amakem, Utone, Makato, Omium Saligo, Balega, Kuluga, Yonage, Makesi, Omkakashi ule dwaba umbege e penchini. Besage upegage e nanga pake uguti. E penchige e litrinege e ganjani. Kodwa in 90 minutes inje pela. Ezo shchelage uguti ge ilipi. Ikrempu elizo zala ane platinamu. Kumzalo uwa ngamama ngamu. Nge sonto pakati kwa lawa uomabili. Northwest University of course in red hot form with two wins from two. No losses to their name. And a strong side both in defense and attack. Just their final thank yous to their home support before they kick off. And so many fans here in attendance supporting the home team, Northwest University. Maybe a couple of students here in attendance. Definitely a well followed team here in Potchefstroom. I did mention they are in red hot form with wins over Summerfield Dynamos, the KZN team, of course, as well as in Pumalanga side, Bayern FC. So definitely a team that has managed to manufacture that winning formula. We'll just have to wait and see if it can carry on in this knockout stage. But the collision course has been set and we seek our second finalist joining MM Platinum in Sunday's final. And Magesi FC forced to clear it from deep. The captain, of course, Motsueng. Hoofing it upfield and winning a foul there for Magesi FC. 
A real good chance for them to maybe stop Northwest University in their tracks as soon as they started to gather that form of theirs. But an early free kick, set piece opportunity here, trying to find the run of Totetsi. Not finding him. Magesi FC, of course, founded in the year of 2011, coming from Chabo Park in Limpopo. So quite a long way to travel and maybe conditions that they are, in fact, used to. Typical winter conditions here in Port of Strum in the northwest. And, of course, taking on the home team, a team that is no stranger to the stadium and no stranger to these surroundings. So if you are playing a semi-final, it's probably better that you are in familiar surroundings and surroundings and Northwest University are most definitely there and definitely supported by their home crowd here. Lost out there on the far side of the field. Decent enough start for Magia CFC. Escaped a really tough group against the likes of Kimberley, Real Madrid and the Spear of the Nation, the side that just came up short against Dublin Platinum in the game before this one. A last minute, last gasp. Rocket from outside of the box proved to be the difference in that one. The question is, will we see a similar story in this one? But throughout the competition, throughout the group stages, we've seen that both teams go through different journeys and encounter different challenges. But one of the main features are that fitness is a massive issue. An early tackle there. We're just looking at some of the highlights of his shot there. Northwest University eventually clear in the form of Massimola. Rasiona is, of course, alongside him, partnered alongside him on his right hand side, the captain that is Mpo Rasiona. And a long throw here for Magesi FC. He does escape with it, puts it in. Early ball, yeah, there's a header. Just going over the bar, kick off the grass. There's some frustration there for Mathlon. He rose tallest, got his head on it, just didn't get it down in time and not heading the ball into the ground and just sneaking over the crossbar. Early opportunity, going and begging for Mage CFC. Now Northwest University find themselves on the other side of the field, winning a throw there. Set pieces are definitely something that a lot of these teams focus on and set pieces might prove to be the difference in a semi-final encounter. Coach D Jackie Ladwaba of Magesi FC did mention the importance of keeping it tight and not only playing your own game but certainly constricting yourselves and conserving your energy and waiting for the perfect moment to pounce foul throw there a little bit of an unforced error from northwest university muslabi the guilty party there but now with soli Mahoja. he takes it long and in an intervention once again mutsepe Muslabi, back to Muslabi, finding Totsetsi and eventually running out of room there. Mahesi FC was originally known as Tambo FC before their promotion from the SAB League to the ABC Motsepe League. And the club bumped heads with the likes of Barock FC and Dolphins FC during their time in that Limpopo ABC Motsepe League. Brocco FC, of course, now applying their trade towards the upper echelons of South African football. And both these teams will be hoping to gain access to the higher society of South African football. Now, goal kick taken quickly. Given to the right back there, Kumape pumped it forward. Winning the scraps there. Eventually falling for Senego. And cries of calm down, coaches pleading for their players just to acclimatize to conditions, acclimatize to the leather and get used to your shape. Charge down there. Both teams pressing rather highly, it has to be said, up the field. First five minutes have come and flown by and nothing to show for it thus far. 
losing out there once again. It has to be said, it's rather untidy in the center of the park. But almost an opportunity there. He decided to take it on his feet at Matane. And eventually dealing with that danger there. Beloy, of course, one of the most dangerous attackers of this season's ABC Motsepe League playoffs. So I want to keep your eye out for, as it comes to the far post now, Sima. And he goes down there in the penalty area. Referee telling him to get back up. Magogo up. All the way to the back and the captain there potentially making a costly error. The keeper lucky enough on his toes. And Semenya being forced to venture outwards and dealt with that danger. But back towards into traffic for Northwest. Muslabi going out wide. Mutsuneng. And shooping there. Eventually being helped out by Kumape. A regular starter for Magesi FC in the, that right flank, that right back position. Both of these coaches did mention the importance of carbo loading, ice baths and all the like for getting their teams and getting their personnel ready. Muscle fatigue, a frequent occurrence as we saw a couple of injuries there in the first game. So these injuries can come up out of nothing and your bench does need to be prepared to put in a shift whenever required and whenever called upon. Speaking about injuries, number 16, Machane, who was due to start, encountered a hamstring injury and Muthlabe now coming in for Northwest University, losing out there and a chance for Maposa, who got his head on it. But it's a corner kick and it's deflected behind of one of the heads of Northwest University. The Lions women there, the eye of the tiger, keeping a close eye on things and spotting it did cross that whitewash. And Matane maybe just took a bit a step backwards. Soli Magoga taking the corner now. First corner for Mage CFC. What can the young man muster up a left footer? The first corner goes in. And it's dealt very well in the front post area. Beloy, the man for Magesi FC there. This time acting as that first repellent in the near post. But once again, another throwing opportunity for Sali Magoga. Who puts it in now. It's fallen to the bottom now. And a foul. Northwest University. Given some breathing space, given a chance to recuperate their thoughts. Just a handball call there by referee Abongile Tom. Northwest University trying to find an avenue through, but this time it's my SCFC Baloi who had a shot on target. Cruising over the crossbar. His first taste of eyesight of goal. And rocketing it over. Magia CFC controlling the position, yeah. On that far side of the field. Looking for a run there. Looking for some sort of support. Maposa. Of course, the coach did mention Jackie Ledwaba. Some suspensions in the lineup. The team from Limpopo, of course, the Group A winners, it has to be said. So, Group A winners, my guess, CFC are taking on the Group C winners, Northwest University. And Group A was the only group that saw two teams coming from that group I mentioned, Spear of the Nation, the Eastern Cape side, joining the Limpopo outfit, my guess, CFC in the semi finals. But they won't be meeting their Group A counterparts come Sunday. So a date with MM Platinum is high on the cards. And a free kick here. Just before I hand to you, Tuli. Free kick not quite finding its target there in the front three. And it's going out and the score remains 0-0. Ten minutes have gone and flown by. Still a lot to play for in this first half section here in Potterstrom. 
asibongeke kakhulu ke Erege sisho sithi ke sise Olin Park Stadium ke ekhaya le Jomo Cosmos ezenkosi iyami semi final ke yesibili ke iyosuku namhlanje ke le njengoba ke esibonile ke laphana ke i semi final iyoqala Lave kudala kona ke i platinum na yoke i spie of the nation. Seku mlanto ke uguti platinum ke iyo na ke e unobile ke elo mtalo ke nge koli ke elise nge mzuzu ke iyo krina la ke la pauti di so otukane el vale la ke e pagati ke kwa sake traza ke lo kuguti e finali ke abafana ke ebase khauten ke e platinum ke iyo na ke ezo ithala le na ke i semi finali i esbili ke siso pega uguti elipi ke i krempu Eliso dala ke inalo ke iqembu ke le MM or platinum yabona ke mobheka ke la maqembu womabili ukuthi ke afike kanjani la kuma semi finals imagesi omhlalo ke wokuvula ke ama playoffs badlala ke ne Real Madrid yase Kimbali emagesi ke yase ke unqoba lo mhlalo ke ngo 3-1 Kwase kuti ke inot west yona ke yadlala ke ene Bayern FC yase Mpumalanga inot west university ke yase ke inqoba ke ngo 1-0 igoli ke lika lindani inkabinde omhlalo omuhle kakhulu ke yeye lo othalenja ke goalkeeper laphana ke ngaphakathi ke eboxini ke lawe ke lapha imagesi Kwase kuti ke imhlalo ke yesibili imagesi yadlala ke idroga 2-2 ne spie of the nation Kwase kuti ke North West University ke yabaxabula kabhlungu Summerfield Dynamos ngamagoli amathathu okwe Lodo ke ingakho ngithi ke lo mhlalo omhlalo ke ozoba ke nzima kakhulu ke kuwona ke omabili amaqembu ngoba ke awakaza shawe awayazi induku lamaqembu ke womabili kodwa omubheka ukuthi isipiloni kuwona ke womabili lamaqembu esinjani uyabona ukuthi ke imagesi Iyona ke NS Billion ingempela ngoba abaqali ukudlala la kuma playoffs ozokhumbula ke lapha ngesizini eka 2013 2014 babe khona ethekwini emlazi e Kingsway Tini Stadium labafike bahlule kakhona kodwa ngesizini ka 2015 2016 eBloom Fountain emagesi ke ne Real Kings ibona ke abagcina ke bedlala ke i final bangena ke kiyona ke i Glad Africa Championship phakushu ukuthi okwesithathu manje imagesi izithola ke ila kuma playoffs e ABC Motsepe League asazi ke ukuthi ke lesibiliyoni ke abanaso bazokwazi yini ukuthi ke basisebenzise siphinde ke sibabeke endaweni abayifunayo enodwa west ke iyona ngempela ke mangabe ke kwenzeka unqoba ke lo mdlalo kuzobe kungokuqala nje ngqam ukuthi ke idlale kuyona ke lapha na ke i Glad Africa Championship oyabona ke mobheka ke abadlali ke ngempela ke abayingozi Kole kempu ke ilayo ke ilapana ke inoto westi. Shako basibona ke ituba. Kato ke uya vala. Uya vala emu va antabelengi echoba. Antabelengi echoba. Uya vala ke ilapana ke emu va. Abe witro ini. Latuliswa nge kanta. Etu nfalela ke pagati ilapa ubaloyi. Kato ke wasafimba na ale linyi tuba futi. Le puma ke epez kwe pali. Etuba la yoke i makesi etro in end e pola ke la sege eli pumaje e pezo o kwama pali ate pangi ama posa ke osha ke i goli ke ingeskati be sala ke umsalo ke uabo ke we 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 Abaya tosha ke emuva. Abafana ke ebayo ke i Northwest University ibona ke abadlale ekhaya. Obona ke nanga ihlwele nje ukuthi ke mabe bambi bhola ziyahloka uma ke ngempela ke enkundleni abafana ke bayo ke la i Northwest University. Yabona ke le maqembu omabili omubheka nje ukuthi ke amagroupu adlale ke ekanjani Kungane nje kakhulu ke okuhlukanise ke la maqembu ngoba ke emagesi ne Spear of the Nation baqede lapha ku Group B belingana ngakho konke amagoli abawashayile amahlanu bangenelwa amathathu 
basege base ebe equal difference yabake u2 or four points ke lowo kanti ke imakhesi yona eh kongeneke lapha na ke ngokuthi ibeke nawo ke lapha na ke u4 points yaseke kuthiwa ke bathole ke amakhadi amancane ingakho ke ebehlale phezulu ke kiyona ke lapha na ke igroup ngoba ke izinto zemagesi in the spirit of the nation bezifana nje ngcimishi yonke into Abese kufanele kutola gale ugutike ubanika ushala pezulu kwi krufu kwa sege uguba ge iona ge ii makesi. Matane la pa ema palini. And North West University. Kwa kipa futike omuseka kulu. Osa lege yombili ge imzalo ge esule nshengo ba ge esala ge owe statu. Na msanche. Agu umzalo ge oba legi ile nkempela. Angkoba ke ikempu, elso ngoba la liya ke kwi finali. Asbone ke la panake shokoba ke ewa fulisa, ewa falisa ke karabo mozisi. Epo lage elabo ke elio nagala. Etse panke ama posa. Alwa pansi nga kweso ngele manje. Elibuya ke eno ompile shupingi. Na yuya lasa ke ompile shupingi. Etro ini ya yoke i makezi. Ebu ya ke elapana ke e limpopo. Ama ke mpu ako tuki ile ngempela angoba ke ele mzalo ke ikale. Ama ke mpu ke ewu nani kota ke manche sele ke ina mane. Ebu ya ke manche ke elapana ke emufa. Ebu ya ke ina yoke i Northwest University. Bayat pagamisa abanigeza ompile shupingi. Oyat pagamisa ke shupingi. Lasege li pumela ke nga pante ke ipola. Elayo ke i North West University. Baibu isela ke emufa. Alisejo omotepe. Akutwa no omotapa. Okala ke umshalo ke okokala ke kile mshalo obe ngena ke eze sapu oyabona ke la uompile shupingi emshalo eni ke ozule ke skati besha ita ina mosi obe na ma asisti ama bilim awonke ke skati ke e siza ke ikoli lake ele siba ama shongi ane koli ke lake ke ele pana ke umushabayi omshali ke onga mpega oba legi ile ushala ka sengo nya ule snaile ushincha inta ngoti ye nage ompile shupingi Omel bamba jayi pola ke eku kala ke ishwele. Amo sabayi. Baibu sela ke mufa. La pana ke eku kana nelo omotwe nengi. Ama shutu ingi. Bafuni nzela. Aba fana ke ebe North West University. Koto. Ea valwa ke njengo ba ke ebe salela njenga se kaya. Bazalela ke ngase mufa ke ipola ke ebaya pagamisa oya vimba soli makhoka Odbuisela ke lapana ke emufa futhi kutlwa no umothapha Bebe funa ke lapana ke ephambili lesiba kodwa ke uya vimba ke emufa njengoba ke evimba ke kahle kakhulu Dimakacho Mokape Ompile shopping Oya sesa ompile. El paga misa o shinjin kunta gotwa. Oya vimpa ke mpora soane la panage emufa. E kwe mpuge elizo kina ke ngo pumele la ke ele msalo. Elizo hamba ke ene samba asiga 1,25 milioni. Kantike u number 2 yena. Ozo tola ke u 600,000. Ako toa ke ubo babili. Nge sisi nga 2022-2023 Bazo zala ke kukledi Afrika Championship Eyo nage imkome loge ya yoge ele mshalo Eya maa playoffs Nshengo bage ipo lage ebe nige seche Eka mnanti ke u goalkeeper 20 minutes e potini A not a not West University A not a Makesi FC 
Both Magezi FC and NW still testing the water, still treading lightly in this encounter. But a charge here for Magezi FC, a long shot. And Karabo Moses goes wide. Still scoreless after 20 minutes. Both teams still exchanging those jabs and running around the ring. There's the man in the center, Bongile Tom. Massive weight on his shoulders and massive responsibility on his shoulders to ensure a rather successful game for him. We saw some frantics, as I mentioned in my introduction earlier on. Post-match, quite dramatic scenes. It's a game in which a lot of people can easily blame the referee, of course, but both teams will be hoping that, that they don't need the referee's intervention to ensure victory today. As Northwest University try and venture forwards there on the far side of the field. Judged to have taken the ball out there, Maslong. Running out of room and taking the ball beyond the barrier there. And well spotted by the lineswoman on that far side of the field. Magesi FC are indeed seen as regular contenders in the Netbank Cup, representing the lower leagues from Limpopo. They did win the Limpopo Conference back in 2015 and followed that up by winning the playoff group to earn promotion into the now known GLAD Africa Championship. But just a season later, all their hard work was undone as they suffered relegation from the National First Division. So not only the first job is to get past today, it's to win the final, is to book your spot in the GLAD Africa Championship, but then also to rebuild for next season to ensure you prolong your stay in the National First Division. And don't get chopped back so easily as the ball fizzles out all the way back to the Northwest University goalkeeper, Matane. Definitely a, more of a young team taking on an experienced Magesi FC team. Obviously, the likes of which include Kumape, Magogo, as well as Semenya in the goalkeeping department. Experienced veterans in the game, of course. And Northwest University will be hoping to use their vibrant youth to overcome the challenges that this Magesi FC team holds. I did mention the fact that Magesi FC are regulars in the Netbank Cup and their best finish in the Netbank Cup was the sixth round loss. But now a chance and a miss kick completely taking a swipe and Mathlon going wide. Or oh, I beg your pardon, not making contact at all with the ball there. But well, well in the air by Motsepe. And well taken down. Just having a good swipe at the ball and not exactly the way he would have liked and the way he planned. But he is finding those pockets of spaces. He is finding those positions, it has to be said. So it might just be a matter of time before Matlong as well as Tutetsi and Shuping can engrave their names on today's score sheet. Magesi FC's journey did start with an opening win against Kimberley Real Madrid. The only team, in fact, to attain victory of that opening day. All of the teams and all the other groups went down to goalless draws. And still holding their shape here on my CFC. We mentioned the fact that you do need to keep the energy in the tanks and you do need to make sure that there's enough energy and legs in those tanks, of course. So it goes out wide to the other side of the field and both teams are sitting comfortably whenever they aren't in possession it has to be said holding their shape waiting for the other team to perhaps make that first error and to pounce on that mistake as we can see now Sima going on a little venture forwards but eventually losing out and Ikabinde the man in the center park wins it for Northwest University Totetse has a shot Almost creeping into the near post there, but well guarded from goalkeeper Semenya. So Peng Maposa, of course, opened Magesi's playoff account 
with a tap in after a wonderful flowing team move against Kimberley Real Madrid. Definitely a goal that will live long on in the memories of the ABC Motepe League playoffs. But now with Totetsi once more, darts back into space, trying to wriggle room for a shot and eventually running out of options and maybe taking his time that little bit too long. But now, of course, down to his opposite number, Moses. Thrabo Moses not quite finding his strike partner there. Still a chance, Maposa whips it in. Sima now on the edge of the penalty area. Just disguising a sh cross shot there. They're still in the box here. Little snapshot there from Baloy. The danger is now cleared for Northwest University. And as you can see there, the three center backs of Mage CFC making their way back. And whenever they lose the ball, it seems as if the first initiative, the first task is to get back into shape and recuperate. Little physical tussle there. Gets the crowd riled up, of course. We do love to see that. Between and Kabinde. And Sima, of course. As the ball goes in, helped on. But now, of course, with the captain, Motapa. Razzione hooks it forward. And it's a very slow, composed start to this game, it has to be said. Goalkeepers not exactly being tested just yet. We saw Magesi FC going close with uh, Maposa Hera. Just going over that crossbar. But besides that, it's rather been quiet in this first half. With, 20 minute, with, with 27 minutes going by. Both teams exactly not testing those treacherous waters just yet. Rasiona, the man with the captain's armband for my CFC. Now with Magoga. Magoga making the run there on the left flank, gets it back now. A chance to cross it in, shifts it onto his left foot. And an overlapping run there, trying to find his man. And uh, Northwest University doing exceptionally well there to spot the danger. Both coaches, it has to be said, Jackie Ladwaba and Abungile Tom on the sidelines, barking orders to their troops. It's a lovely afternoon here in parts of Strim. We've witnessed cold conditions in the mornings of the group stage games during this week's action. But dry, warm weather this time in the afternoon in parts of Strim. And potentially an ideal weather conditions for some local football. Soli Mahoha puts it in. Long throw with the header and it's a goal! Mage CFC break the deadlock from a long throw in. There you have it. A slight taste of what it might be to be in that Glad Africa Championship. Just a glimpse of what this team can do from a long throw in. And Massimola. The center back helping himself to his first goal of this ABC Motsepe League playoffs. From a long throw in, I mentioned Magoga puts it in. The keeper, Matane coming out, but first to it, the quickest to react, Massimola. The head up. And the player on the line, not enough. Exquisite header, pinpoint header. And the celebrations are well underway. And it's a 1-0 start for Mage CFC. And you can see what it means. The fist pump says it all. Jackie Ledwaba definitely loving that goal. That has to be said. But now the onus is on Northwest University to come up with a response. A long shot there from Moslabi. Going well wide. And my guess CFC now looking the more settled. And I mentioned the team that has profited off the better chances in this game and have now have taken that chance. And it's so important, Tuli. As soon as you get an opening chances in a semi-final in the first half, you have to take it. 
and exceptionally done there by Mosimola to give the lead to the Limpopo based team. Ebonage eleko lige el valeno pagati ionage i emakesige ikoli and number six Emma Colinige Asabe was shy ge guonage ama plausi ilona vele ikumpu el nama kolige ama ninkin kovage lizaglom shalom li nama kolige ama ashano leliga bal shaya manje lesi e tupam emma kesi f c oyabonage is pilioni in kempela ubo ni lenche ogu tige Bebe Quintense Lage and Campelage Abayoge in Makesi, Befunu Gutimatoli Coli, Ekala Ognage in Northwest University, Ugusabeso was Ruti, Eba Shalega Pansige, Egwen Lintesim, Ega Kulgazige, Elekan Puge, El Shalekaya, and Kobage, Lina Balanteli, Ecolige, Eliga twenty three, Elege, Esil Bonayoge, Shenga Manshan Kobage, Sizela, Kulum Sal, Gulem Saloge, Yanam Sanche, Koshawege Amakolige, Angu. 20 no magaka 24 ngoba ke abe 22 sase ke silibona ke lapha nake likadukane eh ku semi final ke iyoqala nje ngoba ke sibona ke lakhe la uma semula eh lika 24 eh se wonke ke amagoli ashawe ke kuwona ke ama playoffs one amagesi fc north northwest university Abai kala ge emu vama shege abafana ge ebe northwesti ukutwa no omutapa ampege shiguti shawa ge first touch susa mese poleni e pola ge lasa ge li pumela ge inkapante kutwa ge abat pose emakesi abai kala ge elapana ge emu vama uye numshaiwe kolim amase mula. E polage eli pumela ge nga pante nga pesha ge gwen kunta. Kotuwa ge albuye ge eli zo poswa. Eli poswa ge ibona ge abafana ge baga cheki le tuwaba. Oyel posta atimakacho ukop mape. Kotuwa ge manche ge al poswa ge iyona ge i Northwest University. Our captain, we are sure Utige and Poswe, we are not going to be Choba. And again, it throw in. We are not going to twist it. It's not going to pass. We are going to go in. Our captain, we are not going to be Alin Tani in Cabin Tege, Lombonage, La Panage, Estompeni, twenty eight years. O Zalaga Swinig, we are no shy gay, Coligan, Gescatig, Bezalaga, and Epayenim. And now go O Captainim, O Sale, a cliche, twelve years, Zigule, and Pue Lema Casim, thirty two years, Zilla, Umpo, or Raswana, or Gorilla Foot Gescatig, Bezalaga, and now get La Panage, Matrita, Spon and Anga Sebenza, and Po or Raswane. I'm fine again. What's the pull up one? I'm very cool again. My playoffs. I guess Katima Kesi. A tall again. A promotion. We are not going to sell him. Oh, so sell again. Is Katige a system? I go now. 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 A table for Semenya, twenty six years on Fanage was a Mokopane. I go Koga Ogniki, as I was Zile, Gapanje, go to get a lungi senge, a defense, a ke, or go to a Kulumenayo, Ungason delegate moon to Amapola, a Yinkozi, a Yenage, oh, table for Semenya. I throw in him, or Sashinja Manje, Ushan Gotila, on Pile Shooping. Shopping, or if it's like a gang manager, by boy, it's like a gangster move again. But niggas are getting here, niggas are laughing, niggas are oh, chopper. Oh, yeah, Fimba, eh, move on. Oh, yeah, Fimba, get laughing, niggas are oh, masemula. 
akuye nake oshayeke igoli yabona ke ngempela ke njengoba ke zihlungana amaqembu ke afana ke eno samafield dynamos abasekho obayern fc basempumalanga abasekho amadrid yasekhimbali abasekho odikwena nabo futhi kade representa ke ifree state abasekho zizwe united eqembu ke lase western cape analo ke alisekho Engako ke manje ke excelenje ukuthi ke sibone leni semi final ukuthi ke iphela kanjani bese ke ayaqinisekiswa ke amaqembu amabili ke azodlala ke kiyona ke ifinal nge sodwa bheke nje jika kamnandi ilindani inkabinde na ayi cross enhle lapho kodwa ke iyamceza lapha nake omphile eshopping ebhola ke liphumela ke engaphandle elizobuya ke elibe kophansi kubeke elayo ke imagesi na ababalandeli bakhona abapheli moya ke beqembu ke lasekhaya northwest university shoba ngekhanda bayalithatha magesi manje ke nange ebuya nalo lapha nake etse bank siyeneko ojika kamnandi banikeza lapha ukhuphulange siyema ebhola labo ke elonakala futhi abongile Tom uyena ke usiphathele ke umdlalo njengoba ke ethi chama dota buyele muva nje hamba nje uhlehle uyoliphosa le lebhola ke kusho ke abongile Tom onompempe ke one spilioni obayaliphosa emagesi nake manje ke ikodwa bayalwa onompempe ke nangu futhi ke ekhala ukuthi alibuye ke lebhola ke libe kophansi kube ke ele northwest university lisekho umutsephe uyena ke ophezukwalo lebhola ebona ke ele northwest yedlala ke namhlanje ayifani ke nale ebe igijimisa ke isamafield izolo asibone nje evala ke lapha nake emuva kodwa ke kuthiwa ke lele yabhola ke alibuye ke libe kophansi ngoba ke likhishwe ke usoli magogha ikhona iyemagesi noma ke ikhona ke iye northwest yesibili emagesi ke ine khona ke eyodwa odse pa umulapha omphile shopping iphezu kwebhola no kananelo omuthwenengi o captain ke uwe northwest ke uyena ke ozwe shaya asibone ke ele khona ke shabe iphamisa kodwa akho keeper tebogo simenya uyifaka nje isibhakela oyikhiphela ke ngaphandle ekthiwa ke akube enye futhi ke ikhona khona number 3 Abaya iphakamisa okhokhipha ka ibambi asibone manje ke ibhola ke inali ke beliphakamisa kodwa oyabuya ke manje ke ubuya nalo ayena ke lapha bongani Thaibos balifanga phakathi eboxini lapha oyalithatha ukhokhipha tebogo simenya oyaqosha manje ke nange lifaka ke lapha bafuna ke iyena ke ukhuphula nge SEM 21 years omfana ke wase Hamas Krali Okhuphulange esiyema Etro ini tsepang onike su captain Mpho Rasiona Asimenya ke ibhola ke nange eliphakamisa kamnandi nje lasalithola ke Soli emagogha nange yaphambili manje ke Soli ecross enhle ka Soli nalithuba lapha liyabaceza Asibone futhi ke ephezu okwedilaini Gabriel Molapo Asibone manje ingozi ikhona ke ya defense eyayo ke lapha nake i Northwest University yabona ukuthi aba communicate kahle e defense no goalkeeper njengoba ke ebedala ke i throw in okuhlwa no ubefuna u goalkeeper sondela zoba mpi bola othoba wena wavela ukuba bona ukuthi athi ngilikhipheleke ngaphandle I throw in Makesi. 
Ekona inigezwa i makezi. Iyo tatu wage uye nage usoli e makoka. Arasibu ze matane ugo kipage wayo ge i Northwest University. Oye nage ola panage e palini. Asbone ge ele kona. Soli makoka. E kempu kempe nage la. Elizo ngoba elizo tarage ene MM Platinum FC. E kona uye shaya ge usoli goto ge bai vimpa. Agalula ge abayoge in Northwest University. Five minutes in. Ogutige ziege kefini ziotola ge ama kringa ge ama sham. Ema kezi hamba pampili. Nge kole loto ge e kandeni. Shengo waga tetu bai feza. Bai feza lage u tzoteti. Wanili ima kezi hamba pampili. Thank you Tuli. It's Magis FC who are going through the gears. It's a robust side. A side with such an impressive spine to them. And they are holding on here with seemingly five minutes to go of this first half. And Magesi FC definitely looking more settled in this game after establishing their one goal advantage. And they'll be looking to maybe sneak in that second just before that halftime whistle blows. It has to be said the second goal is ever so crucial and could perhaps de de determine the end result of this game. Simo, of course, one of the midfielders for Magesi FC. He did, in fact, score against Kimberley Real Madrid. So goals are spread all the way around the team from attack to, a, to defense. And Massimola there, of course, helping himself to a long throw in from Soli Magroga. And a powering header gave Magesi FC that advantage. And Jackie Ledwaba will most certainly be happy with the efforts of his troops. And maybe exactly what the doctor ordered after first half's action. But Northwest University aren't exactly out the picture just yet. As Beloy wins it there from the long ball. And Motsepe clears it. A little bit of ping ball going on. Both sides granting and gifting away position. And a foul there for Northwest University, taking a knock to the neck there, did Nkabinde. Quite a hefty challenge there. Robust tackle there in the heart of the midfield. But as you can see, the Magesi FC relentless in their attempt to win that ball back. Now, all the way to the other side of that field. Northwest University, it has to be said, haven't quite found those creative passing options that could release the likes of Maslong and Shuping as well as Totseti. They've rather been anonymous in this first half. So Abongili Tong's first job is to perhaps unlock the talent that is there in this Northwest University side as the pace is on show there. A little burst of pace from Sima. We mentioned some changes were made of this in this Magesi FC and coach Jack Ledwaba did say that they are missing some of their crucial midfielders as well as including the likes of Ledwaba. But I tell you what, the midfielders that are on show today have absolutely put in a grind of an effort. And But there's so much football to go. And still so much work to do, but Magesi FC definitely look up for it. As the long ball once again finding its man exactly Northwest University maybe lacking some creativity and losing the innovation that we saw in their group stage campaign but as we can look at the long throw in from Soli Mogoga and Massimole rising the highest and getting his head to it no one close to him whatsoever I'm not too sure why Motani decided to come out there but nonetheless that era did grant the chance for Magesi to capitalize. And a massive step towards the Glad Africa Championship, it has to be said. Now a goal kick for Northwest. A big important Magesi FC. We'll just confirm those 
extra minutes for you shortly. Don't expect too much. Not really a game that has been disrupted by injuries or stoppages. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's my guess, CFC, who come away with a 1-0 advantage in this first half. And Massimola, the man, capitalizing for the men in blue. A goal for the men in blue, almost out of the blue and plucked out of the sky. Brilliant header by the center back. And they're just going through the motions, as I mentioned, going through the gears and readying themselves for a battle in that second half. And a lot to do for Northwest University. It also has to be said, as we can see there, a number of discussions being had by both teams. Still 45 minutes to go. And Northwest University will be maybe scratching their heads and wondering where exactly it went wrong. But it has to be said, only one error, maybe from the goalkeeper. The marking there in the box might not have been up to scratch, but they need to let bygones leave bygones and move on with it. And maybe a blessing in disguise for them is the fact that it's only a one goal advantage that they need to claw back. And so it's highly possible that Northwest University can come back and return with perhaps more energy, more enthusiasm and less nerves in the second half. So do stay tuned for that second half. It's my guest CFC who capitalized and are currently leading 1-0 here in Potchefstroom. As we just look at the halftime stats, my guest CFC clearly dominating in terms of shots on goal and the only shot on target, the header, of course, uh, going in by Massimola. But interestingly enough, my guess EFC only 44% of the ball, so less of the ball. But it all matters what you do with the leather, it has to be said. And my guess EFC capitalizing. And whenever they venture forward, it seems as if the goal scoring opportunities are there in abundance. And Northwest University will be hoping that they can turn that large share of possession into better chances. But now to Vusiwe on the touchline. Thank you so much to Ray Kuhn as well as, of course, to Tuli Mia and the commentary booth here this afternoon. Well, that's how we conclude the first 45 in this encounter. My guess, FC being the team that found the opener on the back of the net through, of course, Uma Simola coming in from a very lovely long throw in ball there. And on the side of Northwest University, I mean, we've seen Uma Long trying to really find those pockets of spaces to find his second goal in these playoffs, but really unable to create anything solid. I can tell you that from uh, the touchline there their coach has been shouting non-stop that is of course uh, coach Garabo telling them mental strength guys general I don't need to be telling this of course speaking to jersey number seven or should being really seeming frustrated at this moment while well, going into this halftime break it is of course uh, uh, coach Jake Lidwaba who is the happier of the two for the um, like they just need to keep on doing what they've been doing to ensure that they find themselves in Sunday's uh, final but there is still 45 minutes minutes of action awaiting on the other side of the halftime analysis as well as this break to determine which team will be going into Sunday's final. What will be interesting is to see the changes that will be made, if any, by Northwest University or even Mike Gessi to ensure that they are able to get the job done here this afternoon. Time now though for an ad break. After the break it is Oandile Ngube Opomozo as well as Oshlampo who give us halftime analysis of what we've seen so far in this semi-final encounter. Counter. You should go to China. You know, because I, I hear they, they give away babies like free iPods. I'll take it. This June on S3. She has a right to know. What? Don't call me crazy! We have lined up flaming hot movies that will warm up your winter weekend nights. Don't be fooled by what you think you see. Now this is going to be a little difficult, so stay with me. Open up to our weekend movies from 7.30pm on S3. Okay, it's a good start. Come on, Barry. Imagine a world where you are the master of your destiny. A place where lovers love, jokers joke. And children are the rulers of their own castles. 
A place that ditches the boring and adds color to your life. Place to enjoy with your favorite people all day, all the time. Escape the routine and go all in to magic and mystery. From diapers to drum, sharing reels to killing up on the couch. Do it now. Do it together. SABC2 is going all in. Entertainment takes center stage in your home, on your grounds. Go all in with SABC2. You belong. New Age Madiba. To be more accessible to the people of Azania. We're flying high here. So don't leave me hanging. Are you watching this nonsense on RGB? Oh, you don't be. You can't be watching Dingan's things in your house. That is just bad karma. Calm down. This is just driving an area down, you know, when we're trying to get inspiration to nail a new project. All right, Sister Bettina. Mondays to Wednesdays at 9.30 on 2. Um, Sansi football is about to change forever. Football is freedom. Let's just go there and enjoy ourselves. Let's play. There's nothing impossible. We just go there and win the game. Yeah. Crunching tackles and lightning pace have a new face. Istande, Zamaya, and Ishibobo will be executed with perfection. Tactics will come alive with excellence and precision, just by the players you're yet to meet. Our names will be known from KwaZulu to the Free State. Our names will be praised from the Table Mountain to the hills of Venda. Because this time around, we, the women of Mzansi, take to the field. We're taking Idiski to new heights. Our home is football, and we love it here. Double save! A double save! Catch all the action of the Hollywood Bets Super League live on SABC1, S3, DTT, and also available on Telcom 1. SABC Sport is the home of football. Welcome back. It is uh, Latu my SABC Sport bringing you the lower divisions of South African football as we see the next talent that could be playing in our top tier leagues. One no, this game, Pumuzo, um, as we welcome, of course, back Pumuzo Manis as well as Trump Kekana, a lot more than what we saw in the first game in terms of, you know, goal mouth action, uh, the tactics you can see, but there's a lot more into it. There's a lot more into it, and uh, you can see the experience of Uchekili Duaba. He's using set plays. By set mm. place, I mean the throw-ins are very critical weapon that Imakez is using. Both the, the, the full-backs are able, Mahoha on the, on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, Kopana, is, they're the ones that are bringing those long throw-ins. The goal comes from that long throw-in. So that is one tactic that Magezi are using, set plays. They're using them well because when you're attacking with set plays, you're also reserving a lot of energy. How did you see the first half? The first half has have been uh, very, very clear uh, from, from Magezi, what they, they're trying to do. They're mm. trying to put the, the university under the pressure, and that's what they've achieved by scoring the, the goal. Uh, the, only the only time that Magezi has been, has been vulnerable is when they're trying to play from, from the back, which is not their strength. Mm. Their strength is make sure that every ball they hoof it into the university as, as a half and the box, and that's where they stand a chance because the defenders, they don't want to face their own goals when they're defending. They don't want to clear those uh, 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 long balls that are coming into your half. So that, that's the, the advantage that Magezi is getting at this present moment. Well, let's take a look at that first half. I mean, it started as early as the third minute here, Pomozo, when we saw mm -hmm. that there would be action in this match. Yeah, there's action in, the, in that moment. Uh, Malapo brings in the cross, but uh, Maposa, mm -hmm. with that head, unlike, you know, to, to, to get it on target. But again, it's coming from the wide areas. It's balls that are floated into, into the box. It comes from a quick throw-in that is taken. And when it goes uh, to, to Maposa in that moment, he just needed the jackknife technique, had the ball onto the ground to make it difficult for the goalkeeper. But he rose well, unlucky not to get it on target. He really did uh, rise well. A nice, clean header there, but unable to hit target. 23rd minute the next opportunity came Trump were talking us through this one here I think this is a, a long ball that uh, all the, the teams are trying to to put in the box and if you check this ball clearly they, they, they didn't want to play through the middle mm. they wanted to, to bypass the middle and put it in their box 
Here the, the decision go, uh, was supposed to be the goalkeeper clearing that ball mm. because it's hanging in the air. So one is hanging, he's got an advantage to use the, the hands. But if you allow the ball to bounce, that's when the problem comes. And that's why the, 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 the two centre defenders, they were hoping to get help from, from the goalkeeper. He didn't help them in that, in that regard. And that's why it resulted into that uh, half a chance. Well, a goal did come. Finally, in this match, the first one that we were seeing, of course, in this year match. We're wondering if there'd be goals in it. There was one no, the difference in the previous game. Would it be that year? 28th minute. Mahoha plays that uh, uh, long throw in. The man that is scoring the goal is, is, is one of the centre back, Masemula. He goes up for, for, for those long throwings. This is something that they trained at, uh, at training. But I've got a problem here with two things Mutsepe's marking. Mutsepe is 22, also Matane, the goalkeeper. Where is the goalkeeper going if he does not make contact with the ball? And mm. That is where the mistake was made. They were uncertain in terms of how they, they were defending. Mutsepe is flat. He's not open stance. He does not see uh, Masemula that is coming from behind him to come and hit the ball in front of him. Matane, the, the, the goalkeeper, if you pause it there, if you pause it there, Look at the goalkeeper, where the goalkeeper is. As soon as they, they, they had it posit, look at where the goalkeeper is. Look at where the goalkeeper is. He's nowhere near to the ball. He's nowhere near to the ball, and that's how Magezi are able to open uh, uh, the scoring sheet today with Masemola getting the goal. But also, so, but there's something that needs to be said, and I know, um, you know they loved ones in the TSTV Premiership that are able to do this. Yeah. The quality of the throwing. Yeah. Mm. Wow, the, 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 throw, the quality of the throw is uh, something else because I never see anything like this in mm. the Premier League uh, before. The last time I saw it was when Gavilene was still playing. And then, so, <laughs> Take and, a look at and, this and, 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 Yeah. From the throw in, I mean, it's a little bit in the dark there and the camera composure not able to get it quite. But look at that. That could have been somebody kicking that even. Well, this ball will make the defenders to, to panic mm. because this is the ball that is hanging and doesn't favour anybody. You understand? So it favors everybody because it's hanging and nobody can touch it when it's like this. So the keeper, I believe, he, he made a huge mistake by coming out in, in when there is so many bodies in, in, in the box mm. where you cannot see, you're only watching the ball. So any touch or, or, or any movement that is coming in front of the goalkeeper. There he is. He, and he's he, got, there's he's got there's no already chance. players in front of him, so whatever it is that's going to come out of he's got no chance. He's got no chance. But no Sompo would tell you, if Masemula is heading the ball so comfortably, there is no shout. When the keeper says, keeper, you all get out of the way. Because you know he's coming with the knee, yeah, he's sure. coming with, the, with his fist to, to punch for the ball. Sure. So he's not even, he's not shouting. He's not communicating the keeper. The lack of communication also lets him down. Because when he says keeper, not only the defenders would stop, yeah. but also the, as the a striker, striker you're mm. anticipating a touch yeah. coming from the goalkeeper at that moment. So you end up not heading the ball where you want to head it. Mm. But he's coming out of his goals. He's not Quiet, shouting keeper. Yeah. And that's why Masemula was able to put the ball in the back of the net. That's been the difference so far in that first half. But there was another moment later on, of course, into the first half. I think it was a 38th minute now when the attack did come. Like I said, there's a lot more goal mouth action here than they've been. Keeper there does come out, does clear. Yeah, banana kick. Banana kick. Hey. Banana kick. 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 The near post was not uh, protected, but Uusi Minya comes to the rescue. Quick feet movement and punches it away. I did mention in the beginning that this is the kind of games that we win by, by scoring those awkward goals. And this is one of the chances that I think uh, the, the university got it. And uh, like I said, this is not even a clear chance. But he had threatened the, the goalkeepers. The goalkeepers will never be certain with this kind of, with kind of pressure in their box. They want to be clear where there is space for them to go and, and attack the ball. But when there's bodies in front of, of, of them, they don't like it. Very quickly, you're 1 0 up. You've mm. got one foot into the finals, one foot that guarantees you at least 600,000 rands, mm. one foot that guarantees you NFD for the entire season coming up next season. Do you manage the game now or do you keep playing? You need to manage the game through a low block if you are uh, Jackie Lidwawa because the set plays are very good, the throw-ins and the corner kicks are very good. Stay behind, play on transition. Well, it's time that we hand you over now to Ray Ray, Ray Kuhn, of course, as well as uh, Tulusi Le Tombele Kaya Mia for the second half.
Asbonke ke ekakhulu ke andileke elapho ke estudio ke esisho ke esithi ke isompe esesibili ke la e Olen Park Stadium ke Northwest Posh Stadium ke siye ke Kefini besithi ke uwanili imagesi ihamba aphambili ke ngegoli elishawe ke uyena ke o mahlogo oma semula alivalele phakathi ke ngekhanda ingakho ke ihamba aphambili yabona ke lo 15 minutes Noma lo 45 minutes ke esingena ke kuwona owogcina okuthi ke imagesi ibambelele kule goli abahamba ngalo ke phambili noma ke bathole elinye elokuqeda ke umdlalo noma sizobona ke iyona ke i Northwest University ke iphuma ngempela ehlasela ke nayo ke ithole ke elayo ke igoli ngoba o45 minutes ke isikhathe eside kabi koningi ke okungenzeka ke ngoba lo mdlalo siyazi ukuthi Auzupela nje, bese ke pela ke kanjalo, sizo amba ke siye ke giona ke i finali, nje ngoba ke i MM o platinamo ya se khautengi ilindile, elindege elona ke itrembuge elizo ngoba la agu lo mdalo, ya wana ke xipega nje ugutike aziko yini ke inkutugo. As is born again, as in Swag, you won again, or Mabila Matrim Pukotom, as Gagabiga Kornaga, Elizabeth Kutugo, Amatrim Pu, Abuyaga, and Shangobaga, Egatege, and Shalom, Shangobaga, Besser Kornaga, or Masemulam Shawe Koli, or Karabo Moses, Abakona, Hupulange, Siema, Abakona, Elapanaga, Ekanjinige, Elaoge, E. Makesi, Katiga, and Nangapam, Eba Penshini Futi, Kusan Shalom, Onkwepe, Bakona. Om talo muse gentele smaga owa zenjo kusha ikoli Eye nage elapa nage u unkwepe Asbo nage nali tuba lapa Liwe lage ulintani nkabinte Kotwa ge alanga shaye gage gasege lela pola ge lakege unkabinte Wasel bampa ge ukulkipa etebojo o si menya Oyabo nage ilmo upega ge ipenchi Ela yoge ela pana ge i Northwest University Ipakona ge o Lucas Serumo Abanye ke abadlali ke abangaba sebenzisa ngoba ke ngempela ke isimo ke sinzima esimo ke ngempela ke esicayi ke kiyona ke i Northwest University naba ke bethola ke free kick emagesi au captain Mpho Rasoana okhona ke ephezu kwebhola ke lemagesi asibone nje le free kick Ago tu nze shani ge umpo ishai saga utonga la matota ebu yela ge enkuze nige ele Afriki ge e akela pana ge umpo raso uana uyabona ge i makesi e ya kumbisa ngempela ugu tige be ingompeta abako na ge la pana ge e limpompo jengo ba ge be tevele be sezi ge kunampawani la pagu stream b m sabeni a u sixteen ba wina ge a u fourteen ba siwa ge umsa loge o watu. Basage ebe zalage itro ayotoa isi zininge yonke wabona shogu tike mpunge pelage e kunzima ogu tike elisha yege eleli katike mopega la e Northwest University naboge baka tebe sesge pesulu gubage velege o number one ige bama provinsi la bage aba zalage yonage imsaloge yama a playoffs basale 16 games bawina 10 games basalage ama draw asbane nali tuba la pa Alintani Kabinte Shaiko Lilake Elesmi Lilem Salo Yama Playoffs Elise Iko Lige Liga Lintani Kabinte Epolege Litalela Para Yama Paratika Ene Nkunta Bet Tulisa Nga Makanta Na Nkwela Panage U Shupinki Wal Begen Seleni Ya Kela Panage Nkabinta Wal Tipo Na Nbula Le Wate teli mpumpulu. Awazwa nkenta haba ila panage u tebo kho sime nya li siko li laga nkabinte. Ay wate teli mpumpulu. Ya pagu zineti. Uwanwani. Ya bona ke makringa. Omkakeshi. Okarabo omasikela. Awatele abadhalba ke dressing room. Abaswile. Nkuba ke na impendulo che. Beito lage akaka pelingi shimsuzu. Mshano ge iswampe ge esesmili si kalile koko na ge into tetes pansi koko na ge umshali ge otes pansi ge uayo ge i makesi 
ama kolige wani ngapa wani ngapa ama semula nge swampege eso kala besege eno nkabinte nge swampege ese si ibili esa yoge lapanage i northwest university na yelo kati na yelo kati ipumage lapa ayo kala ke futige iyo mdalo abongile tomu Angatike babalage ubongane taibos. Kutiwa ge abeze ge bazo mtata ge engaso ge istrechi. Ngeza mukpega nje ugu tiko ubali lentota. Ethes ge papsungu ge ganaga. Nje ngo vage bengena ge abo siso ge elokala. Abongane e taibosi, uye nage abam nige zege i yelo kati. Bapumage na ege ngo shaga. Oye nage la u bongane e taibosi, o tolege i yelo kati. Enje ngo bage i tolege i frikiki. Iyo nage e lapanage i imakesi. Let's say panga ama posa ke uye na ke lo aba pumege na ke nka pante na ayi frikiki agoto ke ipuma ke epezo ogwa mapali awa keke la panake o matane uko kipa awe e northwest university ama playoffs e sizini enjengo ba ke iko kwa oso kumbula ke nge sizini ke ezule Okutike imshaloge bei la panage empumalanga guanya mazane. Enjengo bage i hungry lions ne platinum city rover zegi kuibona. Aba kuinage ebe kushulelo eskabe nige sayoge i eklede Africa championship. Nala ule mpela sonto. Nge sonto nje lelige siyaglona. Sizo bege se sazi uguti. Obani ozo toina. EMM of Platinum, Pagatige Guauge, Womabili, La Macampu, Hupulanke, Siema, Entelage, Iakege, Iavala, Ivala, Oye Nage, La Panage, O Calamelo, Etro Inic Twage, about Prose Footy, Epio Nage, E. E. Northwest, Lisa Honolo, Mosabayim. And I foot ge enye ge e fauli. And I ge foot ge enye ge e fauli. Go to wage agube ge e ya yoge e lapa. E ma kesi FC. Kapteni. Ampo. Oibu isela ge ilai vela kona. Heli isi pola lga mpo. Asbone manje ge ipola ge ilapana ge ipoksini. Na ayi krosi. Mkulwa kulu goto ge isangana ge ino kupelang. Siema. Oya vimpa ge emu vage u umotapa. Otuna mpempe free kick. Elinton Kabinte Futi, Oshayege Iko, Lige Ilayoge in Northwest, Bafunage La Pagatle Ho Tsotezi, Alfigi Pola, Na Mashe Uzamage, Oshayege Egute, Ote Panke Ma Posa, Agotoge Ipola La Keli Pumanche, Egutege Ene Palige La Kege La Panage U Matane, Entabalengi Choba, Esenta Beki Iayoge in Northwest, Oya vimba emu vage soli ema kocha. Balshi yake ipola ge enote pange esi enako. Ama fauli maninga kulu nangu ucheki ile duaba waya ngumzali wa mazulu. Ela pange season ka 2003 2004. Osu tuge ilalwa ziwa kona ge izembe. Kule yoge esi zinige nge kumbula ge ebabe sabizwa ge nge esulu royalty. Waya kichima kona ge lomkakashi wayo ge i makesi.
ebona ke aba petty bola ke manje ke imagesi khuphula nge siema olubeka ke kamnandi ke kena Gabriel amula po now you cross the lafana ke boxini funa makhanda oya vimba ke emuva muthapha e throw in ngaphesha ke enkundla uyasondela soli oya sondela ke uyayiphosa Ankolo ke ukuthi ke ujeki iledo waba ke ubecabanga ukuthi sombe ke success bili sizoqala ke ngale ndlela izidosa zilingana nale linye ithuba lapha oya libamba u goalkeeper lezo buya manje ke njengoba ke ebelisusa futhi omphile eshupingi namhlanje indlela yakhe ivaliwe asibone nale ithuba manje ke lakhe tsepha ke amaphosa oya shaya iyacindezela imagesi faka ngincindezi imagesi Nanke la pampo la pa usiema wasege eguvinja futige emuva one one isko usa zolalwa la arei. Thank you, Tuli. We've witnessed some special long-range efforts here, of course, and no difference with Nkabinde providing us with an absolute rocket launcher in the centre of the park. Giving keeper Semenya no chance whatsoever. And before she knew it, bulging the back of the net. A keeper that, as soon as he blinked his eyes, was forced to pick up the ball. Brilliant strike from Nkabinde. And now a chance for them to perhaps to edge into the lead. Little parry there from Semenya. No harm done, and he clears it upfield. Beloy brings it down, and now all the way back to Massimola. Now to the far side of the field, Solly Magoga darting back in field. Sima being forced to go all the way back. And now Maposa losing out there. The men in the purple did edge their names as the champions of the Northwest Division and did so in rather peculiar circumstances, it has to be said, with the game being abandoned because their opponents, Orbit College FC, opted for an extra time against the stipulated penalty shootout. Uh, but they are here and now they do have a shot at glory and they do have a shot to book themselves a place at the GLAD Africa Championship. Northwest University, of course, taking out favorites in the tournament Summerfield Dynamos so definitely a team that has a ex has experience in giant slaying of course and now they have an opportunity and they come away with it now lovely knockdown from Beloy he wants it back and he gets it back trying to look for Maposa there very good striking work there from Beloy The men in purple are, are indeed this year's host to the ABC Motepe League playoffs. And as I mentioned, they did overcome one of the favorites, Summerfield Dynamos. And they'll be hoping, of course, the coach there, Karabo Masihela, he'll be hoping that they can perhaps snatch a lead here. His halftime talk most certainly did do the magic. But they do need to survive the corner here from, I guess, CFC all the way to the back post. Nodded back, and it's in! It's a goal, it's the captain, Rasioana! Boy, oh boy! What a goal that is! And that might be the most important goal of his career. Very good work from... Mage CFC, lovely work corner all the way to the back post, nodded back. And it almost seemed as if it was a matter of time, a matter of seconds before it was nodded home. Brilliant knockback from Solly Mogoga. It's that man again, the left back, providing the assist. He's been ever so important for Mage CFC and providing, being the provider once again. And it's the captain, Rasioana. The two centre-backs, it has to be said, Rasioana and Massimola getting on the score sheet for Mage CFC. So players doing both sides of football play. 
so effective from the set pieces it has to be said my guess cfc and they've now taken a 2-1 advantage northwest university may be riding the wave that that rocket launcher from and Kabinde gave them but now find themselves one goal behind with a half an hour to go in this encounter and it's definitely the, de the defense from set pieces that have cost the Northwest University here this afternoon. There's the goal scorer in picture, of course, the number 13, Mpo Rasiwana, the captain leading by example. And they once more getting involved in the thick of the action, heading out. <laughs> Northwest University, of course, they didn't show their spot in the semi-finals with a hard-fought win over that Summerfield Dynamos team, but this is a different prospect, a different animal, it must be set aside, giving them new problems and a new array of challenges that they might have not faced before, that physical aspect, especially from the set piece. And my guess, CFC and Jackie Ledwaba fulfilling their duties to perfection as Sima looks long almost finding Moses there then the young midfielder making a final dart into that box skipped away from one of the onlookers there now the goal scorer for Northwest University in Kabinde trying to go long yet again and maybe forcing the issue favorable bounce and our oh, gone and it's 2-1 in favor of the visiting team the home side did claw back with a brilliant equalizer just after that halftime break and what a response it's been from my guess cfc and one of the players now down and out on the floor seems rather obnoxious and those obnoxious injuries do tend to be more of the serious ones and helped off once again the medical staff has been quite active throughout this day of football we've been spoiled to some absolute beautiful goals here this afternoon in potch of Sturm. exactly what you expect from four of the finest teams of the abc motsepe league division of course i mentioned mm platinum captured their semi-final win and their spot in next year's first division in the most dramatic way possible a last minute winner from outside the area is quite rare it has to be said but mm platinum have prolonged their stay here in potch of Sturm. and it's just a matter of time and a matter of question who will join them in sunday's showpiece trying to thread a ball through there for beloy he's maybe been asked to sacrifice some of the main number nine duties and maybe forced to do some of the dirty work the dogged work there chasing down the defenders of shoba and i beg your pardon mosimala and rasuane but it has to be said northwest university now find themselves with their backs against the wall with it all to do still some time to go so the crucial component here is that they just can't collapse just yet keeping the game and go through the processes and don't open up just that little bit too early we see teams too often going for the win and going for that equalizer but they do have an half an hour to play so still so much football as the set piece is one there it's not into the center of the area northwest university desperate for another moment of brilliance somehow somewhere but a head injury there Not too sure who it is. Kumafe, maybe. But definitely safety first, and one of the precautions that they do need to take. Hit it out, then. It was from Massimola, who cleared out his own man. Didn't see him coming from his blind side. Well, they're quite a heavy knock to take, but as we can see, a Northwest University lining up the changes and the first change for the men in purple just after the hour and it's shipping we, we see we mentioned the halftime break that shipping was having an quite a heavy dialogue with his coach there Karabu Masihela, and maybe not happy with the young number seven and he's forced to retire 
As the ball goes in, it's a long ball. And well dealt with there from the keeper. Taking their time now on Magesi FC. The crucial component here is that they do need to learn how to manage the game. It's a semi-final encounter with 25 minutes or so to go. So the management of your game and how you handle those set pieces and when you choose to strike might just prove to be the difference. Northwest University, they did pick up a win against Bayern FC from Mpumalanga. So they did capture victories both against the Pumalanga team and the KZN side. So they are used to different playing styles. Now facing an attacking team, a physical team as Beloy whips in a beautiful ball. And sneaking around there in the back. Well, up, up. The danger is still not clear. Moses looking for support. Kumape puts it in. Looking for Beloy on the far side of the field. Beloy still keeping it in. Before I hand over to you, Tuli. Magesi FC still pushing. Just taking their time with the cross here. And it seems as if the flag did go up there. Offside call. But it's Magesi FC who have taken a 2-1 with a brilliant goal from their captain, Rasioana. But to you, Tuli, it's... Definitely an entertaining game and a game that maybe isn't just done yet. Ema <laughs> Yabona ke mfishane usiema kodwa nje endlela ke anamandla ke ngakhona oyinikeza ke inkinga ke defense asibone ke futhi nje ngoba ke befuna ke iyena ke laphana ke o Gabriel Mulapo ekhanda ke lakhe la Karabo Moses waseke etlosha ke elahla ke umshayike wegoli lokuqala Oh, ma se mula 21 years him. Um, fanage wala pa e mole tane e limpopo. It's a panke amaposa. A inge pelage is dana imlala. A yike funu kobu ponto. Es katige kota ge es sisekona. A guningi ge oxa ngenze kage go na ge elomzalo. Es semi final yes bilim. AMM or Platinum, Ilinti, the Ekempo, Ezo Salage, and Naloge, finally. A Paratige Guauge, La Macum, forgot again, Shangaman, Shabonagalanga, Ionaga, Imakesim, and Gobage, Ionaga, Hamba Pamela, Sponanali, Polagali, Sabako, Bage, Poxini, and Gekanta, Elia Meta, La Pau, to Muti Makato, Kumape, Abuya Futani Cross, Baboto, Abe Northwest, Aspona Majanali, Tuba, Ela Kagala Palesiba, and Mashankim. I want to go to Kangum Sebezim. Oh, Kanga Gay and Gom Sebezim. Alicia Honolo, Mushabai, twenty four years on Fanaga was a free state law. Equa, a puta di Chaba. Batolaga, it to Bam. A lot of good Benzaga is possible to two. And not to estigate yes, a foot to get what to get a yo maga. I throw in it to get a lot for Saga Lila Pola di Macato. Come up and a foul league a footing and Jango Bage, a Besugu Mage, and Aboge, and La Panage, and Mufam and Tabelanke, a Chobaga, we are Naga, also Shayage, a Lea free kick him. O tu age agal susa lele apola ge iye na ge u choba. Lefu na ge ilapa na ge pambili le seba mashongim. O katiwe go tage iye na ge o le seba. Baibu sele muvagu captainim. 
Amotsweneng. And now the police are like, "Hey, call the court to take him." Of unukshai crossing order. The police are going to punch the guy. Police are going to punch the guy. Albuye is Eliso. Poso is Eli. Poso is Iona Futi. Northwest University. Oh, yeah, baby, is that Uchoba? Throw in eight and two ball up. Sabenza Emufam Yena Uma Samula. Oh, wait to Valela Paga to get the Siba Mashoko. A Makesi A Carabo Moses Gawaso Mele Mapusapanga and Maposa. Oh, yeah, Buya Mashake, Polaga, Elibuyaga, and Osiema. Oh, no, Pepe Utig by a pusha. Quarter to a game, Velega, Lipumelega, and a pantle at Poswem. By Al Posa, Banigasa, Ubong and Tibos, on a yellow cardi. Our Tibos, we are Pega, Unigasa, Mushabayim, Captain in Gawaso Mele and Motoneg. Oh, I shall be a trailer, Mashaga, Mushabayim. Oh, Salisa, Zonkin, and go to the Nanki switch him. Quarter game, Polaga, Laka, Lia Hamanjim. Elio Pumelage la Panage in Capante. A good kick him. A gatebojo or see in Menya. Oyambona de Uguti. Agasata Tazeli, Usea Kala Mashem. Our Funaga Uguti, a city to Hampage is cutting. A batige Uktatage is Kashana Jaman and Jana. And go back, Babo, Nunzalo, Unzima. Now you cross him, epoxin him, now the tube of foot him. And Pumi got to go, who could keep again, who yelled Bampa. Or could keep again, La Pau, Madame. A Madame, or Salega Imsaloga, Yom Tatu. We are not going to play off him. I shall go back to the ship. By a last and Jemma Shake, I buy okay in my case. Or Captain Nabuz or Possa Motoneke, Cananello. But to Melaga Pampi, last one, I shall now go to the foot him. Or Funisha or Cassel and Cabinet, and to my Lago in our dress to go to our Kanga Monsebezi. I'm Tati Sabana Batalu, Tati Sawyer, and Uncabin, the Oshai called the Elisem. A gom look like a lioga laim, and not to ask the Opeg and Shenali Polelis, and Africa and Uncabin, was sick as Uncabin, a fool, a fool of Castella, was El Passa and Gawaso Wutham, El Passa Laga Yenaga Liseho, Mosepe, Wakanga Gumsebezim. I want Tati Sam. All in Dani in Cabinte, and Fanaga was a so way to low. Batty Uchempa, Lady Temple, and Ignemia, Batty Uchempa, or Salaga, La Panaga, a swinging or Sincho, Elias and Quepe, or Pumaga, Yenaga, La O, Siema, Hupulangi, and Siema. Oh, Shinchoga, Eloyoga, Ela, E. Makesi. Oh, yeah, Bonaga, La Ujeki, let Dwaba Ugutiga, Ufaga foot him. Oh, Montugo, Osho, Shelaga, Pampili. And Jango Baga, Efaga, Unguepe. By Alcosha, by Alasaga, Emufam. A bioge e makesi. We are born as you would get Lana, Ota Ganag and Campelaga, Amatimoga and Zimos and Don Zima. A Likong and Pelaga, it can put a Lula, is solo. Angalezi Cati, Bizis and Pela Yotua, a Northwest University, Lalaga, and a Kapulasa Tewini, Taina Mosim. I have a hamburger pump, will get go three million and come to Suga seventy five him. Otoge and I'm such a cash good to get but Zalaga and Abania or Sugo Lusham. Uncle Kashiga or Munya or Namania get Ama Kingam or Cheki Letuaba. A throw in a mover, Banigas again, again, Eliseco. 
Bayabu ya mashege mutapa. Chompu muka we center. Abafu nage iye nage la paubonga ni taibosi. Shinchintang go to Manchega in Northwest University. Na I cross him. Go to get Ipolage, Pumelage, and Gapante. Litalage, it could kick him. Nias, the Guchi, Uso Tatis Cartim. Ogosu Sage, Ipolage, Uteboho, or C. Imania. Ompego, go to Tanga, Kola Pulungi Suchanjem. Aguko Nagele. Amakling and Shem. Ogutige, Guhambege, is Cartim. Gobage, is into Zifuna, Bona, fifteen minutes. Ogutige, Umtaloga Uko. A two one him, Emma Casey, Ihamba, Pambil. Final 15 minutes to go. My SCFC reluctant to give in, and Northwest University is so eager to change the scoreline and to perhaps change the outcome of this game and maybe just forcing the issue. But my SCFC holding off, forming that low block, and keeper coming out. That's really good work from Matane. Sniffing the danger and taking out all the momentum from this Northwest University. How big important it was Semenya there who intervened. Experienced goalkeeper at the back for Mage CFC and it's slotted through for Beloy. Now to Ngupe, the substitute who had just come on a couple of minutes ago. And what a game to come on. Still so much to play for, still so much on the line, just not on the same wavelength there was Ngupe. Jan Maposa. And it's the Group A winners who are maybe just having that one fingertip, one hand on that spot in the GLAD Africa Championship but as it's hoofed forward now and one back. I guess CFC looking to settle it, maybe. Maposa there, inserting in that center forward position. As we approach the final couple of minutes of today's game, as a little ball goes in. Lovely ball. Totetti with a really good ball there. Threading and splitting that Mage CFC defense in half. Not finding the man in blue. A big part in the man in purple, and it seems as if the fans have now taken their feet and seen and witnessed the urgency that this team needs now as they approach the final 10 minutes. Magia CFC holding on tight. They know the importance of this game. It's a, as I mentioned in my intro, it's a life-changing game for many of these teams, not only for themselves, but their families too. And interestingly enough, there are a lot of scouts in attendance here today hiding among, amongst us. And if your team maybe isn't um, granted passage through to the final, your future and your career may just be on the spell. And... Who knows, an opportunity to play for another team, to play for a national side. The scouts are here, so plenty to impress not only the fans, but certain onlookers as well. As it's one there, the header is flicked on. And Kabinde now in the center of the box, drifting from the midfield, almost playing as a center forward now, is the goal scorer. And there he is, the man who supplied an absolute pile driver just shy and the beginning of the second half as you can see there's some scouts in attendance it'll be interesting to see what is going through their heads exactly but i do have to say soli magoga if i was a scout today this man in the left back position has not only supplied the defense and solidity at the back but he's also been the provider for Magia cfc both in defense and attack as we approach now the 80th minute. 10 minutes to go. Not much has changed. Baloy looking to sneak around the back. 
Northwest University choosing safety first and punting it out. The two finalists, one of which we know will be a double M Platinum, will be granted access to South Africa's second tier of professional football with the winners taking home a lump sum of one million rand. Simply put, these semi-finals might just be seen as finals for the simple reason of promotion. But I tell you what, that club altering six figure digit is definitely ingrained in the minds of all the players and coaching staff here this afternoon life-changing amount of money for not only themselves but their clubs as well as they look to build towards the future and it all starts here in parts of Strim, but that flag goes up Beloy may be just drifting but all credit does go to Beloy I mentioned that he might have been struggling with his fitness and a real soldier in the forward positions for my guest CFC, but he's hit the deck now. Seems as if he's had some sort of a tight hamstring issue, but Mangaliso Songo coming on for Northwest University. Ten minutes to go. And maybe he'll be licking his lips at the prospect of changing this game. Whenever you come on as a substitute, the onus is on you to change the game. And thus far, it's Magia CFC who have dealt with the dangers that Northwest have shown them. But that can all change as it did in the beginning of the second half. The moment of magic, a moment of brilliance, shifts it onto his left foot, looks to find someone in the box there. But so many men at the back for Magia CFC, forming that low block I mentioned allowing Northwest University to get on the ball and conserving their energy in defense very well managing this game to good effect we saw Chaki Ledwaba absolutely indulging himself in a celebration of Massimola's goal and his tactics are proving to be on point here this afternoon as a shot goes in snuck in Underneath the legs of Massimola, no problems whatsoever for Semenya. And thunders it downfield. Bounce there. A bounce that can catch a keeper off guard. It has to be set on a dry pitch like this. Some VIPs, some scouts, of course, in attendance. And why wouldn't you? Young talent on show here in Potchefstroom. And potentially, maybe some players here will go on to apply their trade in the PSL or maybe in International League someday. Only time will tell. But referee urgently seeking for some medical assistance here. Referee Abongile Tom. The player is down there for Mage CFC. And they'll just use this time to run down the clock and look back. Tough challenge there. On the back there. On the neck area as well, it has to be said. But he's forced to exit the field of play now as the young man. And as we enter here, the late afternoon here in Pots of Strim, Dorni Machato makes his way onto the field of play. And it's one simple job for him. And that job is to ensure the scoreline does not change. This scoreline will mean that Magesi FC will face double M Platinum in Sunday's showpiece final. Still some time for Northwest University, but it's now or never. It's do or die for the home team. Hoofing it upfield, hoofing it forward. And Semenya diving down on it. Taking his time as if that ball was his baby. He'll be happy with his troops today, of course, Jackie Ledwaba. Definitely not one shy of the celebrations. We've seen some coaches shy away from the celebrations and other indulging themselves and celebrating with their players. Jackie Ledwaba, definitely one of the latter. As we approach now the 84th minute of this game, Northwest University is so eager to equalize. And it's a corner opportunity here for the home team. 
I mentioned it's now or never in the set piece opportunities. I see there amongst the crowd, Langer, the left back for MM Platinum. A really good player throughout the ABC Motsepe League playoffs. And fellow left back, it has to be said, it maybe has been the day of the left backs. Number 20, Sola, Soli Mahoja. Doing his dues. And now a corner goes in. It's an in swinging delivery. The keeper parries it. Semenya, lucky enough to get away with that handling error there. But Majoro now coming on for Matopa in the heart of the midfield. Northwest University just might have a chance at force to him. It's blocked there. Hands in heads. It's been frustrating from Northwest University. They've maybe only been subject to shots from outside or in the hinge areas of the penalty area. And my guess CFC making it so difficult for them to find a clear shot on goal. But as the goal kick now is taken from Semenya, we approach the final stages, the final furlong of this encounter. And it's Tuli Mia who will take you through that, ladies and gentlemen. Eskatiga and Gampela Gay, I show Nag and Pella Gay, say Pelela, and Northwest University, Shangobage, Belantela Gay, Mufa, and go to one among Abega, Bengal Toliga, Ecoliga, Loglingani, San Campella, Baso Buela Gay, Mufa, Futiga, Biopala Pansi, Agionaga, Mozepeli, Gibazamega, and Gessis in Esayo, Kotoga, Amatubaga, Ebanao, and Shangobage, Sitata Gubona. Ayena futige la pa un cabinte. Etige futige bon angulale. Kotoge it defensi. And now you cross and them. A poxi nigo toge i polage nalge manche. Pumelige la panage in kapanze. Owe tuage a la pa albuye. Lisa luge la pa. Lisa luge la panage mufa. Kubege yonage i free kick. Tony Mahato O Kalile Umsaloga in Keskati Emma Kesige is Alaga in Nayola Pais PA of the nation Lom Saloga Wapelaga and get draw or got to two Om Saloga Olandela of Futiga or Kale Penchini, Janganalo, El Kalaga Konaga, Ela Penchini. Free kick him. And guess what? In Northwest University, or come to any corner, pass where Paula, Cananello, or Motonenki, a center when they say they are free kicking, or Salaja two minutes him, or Tum Salupelega, now you free kicking, a young Finch or Goto, a move, or Yenag, a Massa Mula, or Yabuya, a Manchaga, Yenag, a Panaga. Aritlehile, afuna ke ukuthi goba kodwa cha, oyavimba emuva akumape, ejubane ke manje ke lakhe la phana ke Tony emagatho, enange ivala kamnandi engene boxini uma gatho lindi support him, lengali thuma la pa, wasebenza ukokhipha, elveze kamnandi Tony emagatho, elveze lase banke emaphosa Opegenje ipolelite walvala wathule ndodeni opegele phasi through ball wayifeza osebenzile ke goalkeeper umatane ngale kwaloko ngabe ke iyoqeda nje umdlalo emagesa usebenzile ugoalkeeper obethi uvalela phakathi nje ngoba ke elimele ke thintekile Oh, tindege emlenze nigege nage la panage u kolki pauze panke ma posa. Oh, betige ulvale lage pagati. Eko lige elestatu. Oh, begenje. Oh, kolki pa wase figa. Gemu vago kogo shayi pola wase figa esalaje. La pa o embaleni. Oh, wakige u ma posa. Koto ge benga yoni ntoso. Abenga yon again, so so. 
Eloku go ogwen segi lege gi enage u te panke amaposa umpana wase David Tony. Awesome nine is twenty years. Ape lage i enage u te panke amaposa futi genge skati betala ne me treaty. Eya se kimbali uwa kora amakona four four ba keta ge ukdali short corner abayoge i magesi. Akona gisho kofri sapula la amaskauti akwele na wamani la pa ayoge i Richard Payi FC chomo biela lo bako na angempela ge bazo pega ge abatali amaskauti ge amakempu ge asuga asuga ne 90 minutes ge na yoge sei sange ne. Go to a good and guess what? Four minutes. A best again, Gapella, Augusta and Sile, La E, Olin Park, Stadium. A bonage, La E, a platinum, Yonage, Elin, Tege, if finally. Also, Mobage, Lam, also Talage, Nayoge, E, platinum, FC. As one again, I you cross the Funa Macata La Palm, or your Vimpa or Massemula, Yabono Massemula, a defender and Gempella, Agasabu Nuga Canta, Agasabu Fagunyao, and Nali Polapes wet Tilani, or Yaluaga La Panaga, Ritekile, Hositebe, and not to West Iabuya, a captain, a cannonello or Motonegi. A son de la manche de la palace, Siba Machong. A crossing. Oko Kipia Bapuya Yagalapo. I got a swing goes in any tuba foot him. Oh, Captain him. Oh, Captain him. Poor Rasiona. A Vimba Salicola in Nipola. A born again, I'm Sanche. A Makesi. A Gwenzegon. Opego Kipa Wapuma. What we are bumping, people like Alanga Bampega, Washayaga foot him. Batibal Valela Paga to what took up Denny Goo Picona and go back at Minanki Corner, Lai Palini. I'll go keep a man as a congi corner. Thirty two years. I'm Fanage Uacona, a Puluane corner. A visual by a lassi polar emuva. Three minutes, Pella. Susamante pole ninges kate si biganje. We have one who only say how much they pay. Say we need a mosha. Eko ni pasa ba ninges say ona ninges zoge ugabi inte. Falele gabu falele party koli wa mosha. Na manji pola uye tonje. O futu sule ganje o controli pola. Susamante pole ni. Galisa skati kumpula keli atiwa. Angas ge uti ge i ninge afuna yenzege. E i nage only say how much they pay. Captain Mutaneng. A Pulag, Pumelag, and Gapante, Tua and Posse, a Pentilam and Gayao, a Lioge E. Marquesim, a Bamming Gayao, Vele Manche, a Sabbe Pegage E. Washim, on a Fungu, who till me, Lee Washington, about Pegan Acona, a Bayoge E. Marques, a Bias Bona, a Bengena. Bayas Bona Benke Nagi on a gay clad Africa Championship. Bayas Bona Bebuya and Kempela and go back a Bayas clad Africa Championship. Abayoga in Makesi Cananello Motor and Kim Samoyo Trina and Yagazo Yok Trina. I am not West University. Go to Alolia Tonka, Olu Semufa, Alue Makesi, Alfun Luto, or Peggy Washla Kuabongile Tom. A pencilian memes, a little catum salo, a bonkil at home. Or to a bonkil at home, let me wash it. I'll go up a lum salo. Or to all me wash it. I'll go up a lum salo. Or four minutes, I'll go up a lim. A throw in a foot him. What pin the wall bag he was like him. Or to a post a foot him. Or to a post a jungle bag and post a uchoba. By niggas a la palace by my shock. Tuba 
Oya mkuza. Okuza kwa kukwete nukuti mosanu kritiskati. Itebo khosi menya. Yabona uksha waga lebola. Uzo pelu mtalo. Anange mpela waisha ganye. Waisha gabili. Waisha gatatu uno mpempe. Abongile tomu. Entwe bayake uti umtalo ke uya pela. Pela kesi tike tu umakesi FC. One in Northwest University. We are born out him. Oh, Chapule Gancha, Nigga Ud, Peshi, Cheki, Ile Tuaba. I am Tanda Zoya, Ken Campella. A Tata Ikem Punem Sabenziak, Nekem Pulake. El Fagagio Nagay declared Africa Championship. We are born again finally. Young Gay Sonto. A sick in Sagi Sea, where they are all in Pakim Stadium or Namsanche. Guess on to EMM or Platinum is a Dalage in Nioga E. Makesi FC Womabila Makampu. Guess this in Esayo Azoya Gionage E. Glade Africa Championship. Jango Bubon and Shoguta was in Shugus Bampa in Telaga Chabulega and Gakona Umkeshi, Cheki Letuaba Agantike Abayoga in Northwest Basabangi Shukpega Bantu Bas Valange Ameso. Oh, Lala, we pega pezulu. Oh, goalkeeper Matane. Ah, is it long? Is it your color, my daughter? Is Kati a city gang? Gang, I be seven. This is in your camp. Basa ke be figa ke guma playoffs. Basa ke be tiwa we semi finali. Sebe se tuze kempe la ugo tike batati kempu. Balbe ke gyo na ke ikle da Africa kotoka. Ema ke sige iyo na ke ebe ke ikempu elingono. And I'm saying, she gave Gule semi final. He gave yes, he believed. And she go back. I'm a colleague. I care. Oh, my semula. I know poor Raswana. I'm a center pack. Oh, my Billy Lawa. I shy again. I'm a colleague. I okay. I'm a case. In a coge city. A lone again. Tempo. Elling. Can I get you on again? Finally, I in your person. I got to check it to have a matot. Or to listen about Sally. Any business has a seller in Totini. We are Kala Ukalaje, any business in Shabulo, Umkakeshi, Cheki, Letuaba. We are going to get Ule Seho. Oh, yeah, and I shall want to go over Econo, Elip Tagag, Letem Puleno to Westim, Zininki Kau, Larate, Ekanga Konanga Mapo, La Bemnigam, Nomasak Melek, different to Futiga, Ubenga Komu Sekate. Go back at the best and sell and call again. So, some go to Niger, a lack, a year and a gay full time scholar. Mackenzie, two and not West University one. I must take a Pelaga Gomsa, look at Amiganje. I must shot at goalie, twelve for Mackenzie, eleven. We're not West University. Now go back a pot possession. If we're not in not West, go fifty six percent. Go to Ibas and Galuto. Go back a ziwe. You want to get foot get not my tech busy. I want to get attention in 14 equal 20. Gio Nage La Panage in Northwest in Marcus. You got to get in a la no ray cuny. Sell song again, song again in double. Sell tata guesses, niggas again. Oh, pussy wet and gobble. La Panage go touch line. Sis will go good to Batini about the fish. Bonge ga kulu ku commentary team ye to tulisi le mea ganye futi na yege o Ray Kroon. We are now joined by the losing coach here today, o coach Garabo Masekela. Now coach, when you and I spoke in our pre-match interview, you spoke about how the team had a plan, how you wanted to counter their style of play in terms of your formation and also just wanting to catch them on the counter attack. But all of those plans are um, not quite giving you the results you were out for here today. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, the plan did not work. You know, they had a low block, and then they they were they were trying to catch us on breaks and so forth. It's just that uh, we we actually f uh, flopped, or should I say, we we fumbled uh, in our set pieces. You understand? I mean, I, I think a, a lot. Of, it was not through open play. They caught us on set pieces, and then it's unfortunate that we were not well organized there. And coach, as you speak about being caught on those set pieces, that first goal from Magesi, we saw a lot of uncertainty there in in, in that defence. Yeah, I think uh, they were my boys was, were very late in terms of organising in time. Hence, both goals, Vela, you could see Vela, it was uh, in the back post, you know, in the last post, you know. So, but 
I don't know, but it's okay. You know, it's, it's we will we'll try on another season. You know, but uh, to tell you the truth, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of my boys. You know, you know, imagine having to 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 cross night and study at the same time and play. You know, at the end of the day, they're student athletes. You know, that's a huge sacrifice. You know, but we'll start. It's okay. It's no problem. I'm just proud of them. I'm also proud of myself. It's okay. And indeed, you should be coached. Just as we wrap up with you, let's talk about how we could hear you from the sidelines throughout most of this encounter, shouting to your boys, mental strength, mental strength. Yeah. What is it that you were seeing in play that was necessitating you to remind them to keep up with their mental strength? Uh, it was a matter of, we could see that uh, a lot of boys, especially our wingers, uh, they could lose concentration there. So you would just remind them that, hey, they must not just forget our mandate here. It's unfortunate you could see that the heavy legs and so forth. And I should say, according to how they organized the tournament, unfortunately, we cannot play a semi-final if there was no rest day there. There were heavy legs you could see from there, very, very heavy legs. They were supposed, I mean like semi-final and final, they were supposed to be break in between so that we can get quality at the end of the day. I mean like... Uh, <sighs> There needs to be some improvement on this. We can't, we can't, we can't. You cannot play, I don't, I don't know how many hours, three, three, three consecutive days in a row without resting. Hard like here, Coach. Yeah, it's back it's okay. to another season in the ABC Mutsipe League. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is, much. of course, the coach of Northwest University, Karabo Masekela, just really saying that there are a lot of things that the team is unhappy with here today and a lot of things they could have done differently. But the man that is all smiles, and he did say to me at the beginning of this day, he will see me on Sunday with those pre-match interviews, Coach Jackie Lutuaba. Coach, you were able today to effectively use the set place to your advantage, including in how you found the goals here today. Yes, first I'd like to thank the men above about what happened today. You know, it wasn't easy. Eh? Since the season has started, you know, it was tough. It wasn't easy. For today's game, we came with a plan. We said because they are hard runners, they are running, they've got more energy. We said, no, let's absorb pressure, let's wait for them. As long as they can't penetrate us, there's no way they'll score. Indeed, the, <coughs> our tactics worked for us. That's why they couldn't penetrate us. They ended up going route one. So that's what we wanted because we knew that area we are strong. And said piece is one of our strengths. If you can check, we scored three four, to four goals up from the set pieces. Indeed, coach. And now you look forward to Sunday's final. against MM Platinum come Sunday. Everything was okay today. Tactically, we were good. I don't think there's anything to change. We'll just go to Sunday's game. I'll, I'll tell the boys, go and enjoy yourself. What we have done here or what we came here for already is in the bag. Our primary objective, it was to bring the status back home to Limpopo. Indeed, we did it. So going to Sunday's game, it will just go there and enjoy because what we came here for, we got it. And something else, Coach, let's talk about the defence here today because, I mean, you did say you were going to look to catch um, your opponents out on the counter, but as could get defence here, because it's Bonile Lana Umzalu Zopela, Begna Matuba Maningi that came through for Northwest University. Yeah, they, 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 they piled a lot of pressure. Eh? It wasn't easy, you know, and uh, the nerves were starting to get into our defenders, you know. As, uh, as the games went on like that, the time minutes, it's not easy. Laps of concentration, fatigue, and all those things, they were coming. That's why there were a lot of mistakes. But I won't falter them, you know, it's part of the game. Thank you, coach. Congratulations. We will see you in Sunday's final. All right, thank you. I told you before the game that you'll interview me on Sunday. Thank you, you did indeed, you did indeed. That is, of course, uh, Coach Laki Lidwaba, Coach Ngobile and Anam Sanje, where my guess FC. Now, coming into this game, both coaches spoke about how they have a similar style of play and both actually came out with a game plan to say they will sit back and catch the other on the counter-attack and the team that was able to do it effectively here today does secure the victory and will find themselves in Sunday's final against MM Platinum. For Coach Gewayo in Northwest University, really, 
unhappy, saying, well, he's also not happy with the fact that they've been playing consecutively three days in a row, that he would have liked to see a bit of a break between these encounters because the legs were heavy, there was fatigue. And I mean, this is something that was also addressed in the first semi-final today. What do I get? And the team that walks away here victorious today by two goals to one is my guess CFC. That's how we wrap up the action here at Olin Park Stadium for today. So from myself, Uvusiwe Indoga, Ziyagwa Ngobo, and the rest of the team out here, have yourselves a fabulous evening. We go now to an ad break and then a final analysis from the team and studio. Stay tuned. Over mac and cheese. Why? Some people want to use pot for pain. Show me what you got. Okay. My man. This Youth Month, S3 encourages you to be bold. If you like to lose your money, then be a fool and bet on funny. But if you want to have a good day, then put it on clay. And who's that guy? Be daring. <laughs> be fearless by nature. Like the youth of 1976. We got to remember where we're from. Who we were, you forget that, you get lost. So now you feel proud. Now you're not begging no more. Now he wants to be himself. He's not worrying you no more. Yes! Awesome! And shape a way for future generations oh. like they did. Let me get ready. In this digital age, inspire, take charge, stay connected, and shape your future. We promise to respect each other and our differences. Okay. Don't you have somewhere you need to be? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Be the inspiration for tomorrow's youth. I don't get why we're doing this. Yo, curb the negativity, man. Are you in? Oh, good question. Hashtag shape your future. This month, Solutions 24 returns with a brand new season. We once actually got to a point where we gave up on our idea. It's going to take more time than you think. 13 social entrepreneurs changing lives and positively impacting communities in South Africa with their innovative ideas. We can't just be selfish and just think of ourselves. We have to think of, of everybody. You got to learn how to stand up for yourself. You got to learn how to almost um, stand up for your space. You no know, life happens and you need to be able to take the bull by its horns. I'm the great tragic actress. I wanted to make people cry and feel better. Sundays at 8 p.m. right here on SABC2. On this youth day, we must remind ourselves of what our forebears were fighting for. We we're fighting for a society free of racism, poverty, inequality, gender-based violence, xenophobia, homophobia, and many other social ills. It's in your hands now to help build a different country country that cares about the poor and the vulnerable. Well, there it is. It's a worthy celebrations uh, for, of course, you might be thinking you've only won to the finals, but as uh, the studio has highlighted, the guys are going to the National First Division of South African football, the second tier of South African football, the tier lower than the professional DSTV Premier League. There it is. It's Makesi with two goals to the goods and one of the Netherlands University, the winners. Kampo, you know this feeling very well. Yeah. Yeah. Win. yeah. Well, it's a feeling that you cannot even um, trade it to anything in life, where you have to win matches, where you have to you know, celebrate with your <laughs> loved ones. I'm sure the players, they cannot wait to celebrate with their loved ones. And 
I've never worked a day at Home Affairs of South Africa in my life. Nor am I a doctor or I have not fathered any soccer player. But Pumuzo, it's good to see youthful. And I'm going to say this because we're basing this just on what we've seen in the looks. But mm -hmm. it's good to see youthful, young-looking players at that level. Um, I think the coach did highlight that he has got hungry young players that are eager to run. And that's what he's relying on. He said he really drilled them uh, when they were preparing for these playoffs. Their fitness levels were high. Uh, when they were going down and the cameras were zooming in, you could see that that's a 19-year-old, 17-year-old, and that's what Magezi has got. But now one thing, the message to the chairman of Magezi, what usually happens is they go get senior players, six to seven of them, and these young players that has promoted the team then don't get to play in Glad Africa. That's the problem we have in South Africa. But I want to stay in the Glad Africa. I need the experience. Yeah, for sure. You can add one or two players that will help you with the change room. But don't change the whole team. Because mm. if you change the whole team, you, you're going to demoralize these boys. Next time they don't come, they won't even show up in, in matches where you're going to need them. Do you understand? So in, in these are matches where you, you keep your whole team. And I think you've seen the, how, how, how young these boys are. You can even have them in the next season. Mm. Even in, in, the th in the next four years, you can build from them. So I think he's going to need, of course, uh, experience in that regard to help him, you know, you know, you know raising these boys and grooming them into to, to better players in the future. I'm listening to coaches online. I'm listening to coaches from the game that we've just done as well. Um, uh, AM and Platinum and Speed of the Nation as well. We're complaining about the same thing to say the order in which these games are done, too many games, too quickly. There's no time for regeneration. There's no time for players to be able to regroup and recoup as far as you know, health is concerned, as far as fitness is concerned. This is um, playoffs. It's the most critical games to change your life, to change the stature of the club. It will only be fair that after the group stages, you get a day off to regroup, mm -hmm. regenerate, get the fitness levels back. These players are not used to playing back-to-back -back games like that. Mm. Even in the elite league, you don't get uh, to play games one day rest, unless if you're playing Champions League and you have to catch a flight early and you're sacrificing here and there. But in this instance, you travel from Limpopo, for instance, to go to Northwest. There are teams coming from KZN to, to, to Northwest. Immediately when you get there, it's a game the following day, game after that, if you lose those two games, you go back home. Mm. Going back home is putting it lightly, Andile. Going back home means you need another 30 games mm. to finish mm. on top. And then go play to dominate your own area because there's different streams in your province yeah. for you to come out. That's why we're talking about Urtando Stadium, Mobo Dara. Playoffs, the ABC, or Magazi, you can't qualify to go to the region. You can't win the stadium. regional now. Yeah. You can't win the region. You can't win the regional province. Mm. Yeah. You can't win the region. You can't win the northwest. So you get here, you're still fatigued from playing in Tando. Now you have to start with the group stages of the playoffs. You lose one game, you're gone. Mm. I didn't even you play. lose one game, you're gone. Really? And when you're gone, you need to go back and play 30 games. Mm. And really, it influences the, the performances of, of, the, of the whole tournament, if, if, you, if, you, if you may mention. Because what Pumuza is saying is talking about recovery. And if you don't recover in between those games, then you, you're going to burn out. Mm -hmm. So you're playing from uh, 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 painful muscles where you haven't even recovered them. And I'm sure they didn't get uh, massages where jacuzzis and your ice baths because it's winter now and it's, it's cold. If you get to ice baths, you're risking to get flu and all those stuff. And on a, on a day like this, I think they could have at least buy time for, for the team to recover so that we can see proper uh, uh, football. Because to be honest, this is a match where we, we can't say we have seen a proper football to be yeah. from Especially the, in the first, is the MM Platinum Spear of the Nation yeah, match. because you can see the, the players they played yesterday and, 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 and a few hours later in the morning, they have to pitch for, for the match. And the match of the semi-final, which you know, determine how, how you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, uh, get the results of this. And I believe this was uh, a match where I mean, the, these two matches, they could have at least gave them two days to recover, particularly in a space where I think they still have time to, to, to get to with the preseason. Let's take a look at uh, what the effects of all of that is. Let's look at the statistical measure of this match right now. The earlier match you saw, 
Not a lot of action, not a lot of gold bound action either. But this time around, this match was a lot better as we can see there. Makesi, I mean, not by that much. When you look at the total passes there, I mean, 144 and 190, 197 total pass, 144 being, um, you know, blue tick, green tick to the right person mm. in the number of total passes. <clears throat> so, Pumuto, take me through the stats that interest you. I'm interested on shots on target because in the first 45, both teams only had one shot on target. It means that in the second half, both teams had three shots on target. And with those three shots on target for each team in the second half, it produced two goals. And uh, for me, I'm happy about that to say they created a lot of opportunities. 12 opportunities for the winning team, Magezi, 11 opportunities for the home team, uh, University, um, Northwest University. And I thought the game was balanced. But the changing factor in this was the set plays. Mm. which uh, Magezi, I thought they used their set plays very well. Scored from uh, a throw-in, scored from a corner kick. Well, here it is. Then let's go straight to it. Then uh, Shambo can talk to us through this one here. There were three goals that were scored. This was the first one of those three goals. And once again, it's what Pomozo speaks about. It's what we spoke about because we saw how they were playing. And when the coach earlier said, I want you to come and watch out, should have watched out for these set pieces, yeah. including this throw-in, because what a throw-in. Well, this is a, uh, a match, like I said, it's going to be de uh, decided by these kind of chances. And if you don't really, really um, judge the ball properly as a goalkeeper, you, you're going you're gonna to get punished. And uh, I think the decision was wrong from the goalkeeper, you know, considering the fact that there's so much bodies in, in that box. And for you to come and reach the ball, you have to bypass so many mm -hmm. bodies. So for me, I think he could have just stayed on, on his line and, and tried to wait for that ball. Well, we're going to take a look at that again, Pomozo, through uh, my slow motion camera. But we're going to speak about uh, uh, Rasabozo, who is, of course, the goalkeeper. Mm. Not very well poised in this match. It's not, it's not well poised uh, because when we, we start the move from the, from, from the start, and I want to highlight the, numera the numerical advantage that Northwest University had in that instance. They had more bodies than Magezi. Mm. So... When we roll it, you might not see it because of the, of the lighting at the, at the stadium in that moment. Pause it on the header. Now, if you're pausing it there, it's fine. Look at the number of Northwest players. In your picture alone, you have got six, including the goalkeeper, against only two. Uh, Masemula, who's heading the ball, and Baloi, that is standing in, 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 in behind the, the goalkeeper in that instance. He misjudged the flight of the ball, that is Matane, the goalkeeper. Mutsepe, the defender from Northwest, is not open stance. He can only see the ball. He does not see the goal scorer in Masemola. And when you roll it forward, you're going to see that the goalkeeper is caught in no man's land. And when you come out as a goalkeeper, you need to at least touch the ball. That is the rule of goalkeeping. A goalkeeper, when you come out, you need to touch the ball. He doesn't touch the ball. He's late. Masemula redirects that ball into the net. A well-taken goal. And this is one of the weapons that uh, Uwe Jekili Dwaba spoke about to say, we are very strong in our set place. And Mahoha, with that long throw oh. in, that was brilliant. And Masemula puts it in the back of the net. You were saying a little bit earlier, you know, Soli Mahoha, who throws in, yeah. He reminds you of olden day players because you don't get that anymore in modern uh, football uh, uh, where you bolt it in in that way and this time around he, he floated it in. This is the ball that makes defenders very, very nervous because it hangs in the air where, where, where it doesn't favour anybody. But because you, you want to defend the ball as soon as possible, that's where you panic. And can, if you hold it there, you could, you could see how, how hard the goalkeeper tried so hard to pass by between the two, the, the two players. Oh, which, trying to get through the traffic. Yeah, that, and that it takes a little bit of time. It, 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 it delays you a little bit. So for, for, for that, that's why he's going to be late all the time. So if you're not sure, the, the coaches will tell you, if you're not sure in that kind of a moment, let it bounce. Let, it, let the defenders deal with it. Because you, you're not sure as a goalkeeper. You, what you're trying to do, you're looking at the ball and you want to navigate yourself in between those bodies. So it's difficult because there's a there's big crowd in there. So I think that was a mistake. And on the other side, I'm sure they benefited from there because, yeah. look, there's a tactic that nobody wants to use in this, in this, in this uh, today's game. Let's take a very quick break. When we come back on the other side, there were two more goals, of course. That made sure that there was going to be a finalist and it's the team from Baring Barangay. When we come back, we'll talk about it.
the lights come on and flash. What they need most of all, Jenny, is some luck. And action got underway, but look at this card. It's a very different and challenging role. Oh, oh! Right, Taylor's roll! Series, the world's first female only racing series. This time it supports the global circus of Formula One. And we go green, very good start. Price goes to the inside too. It's a historic day for Porsche as they take their first Formula E win. Just by the players you're yet to meet. Our names will be known from KwaZulu to the Free State. Our names will be praised from the Table Mountain to the hills of Vend. Because this time around, we, the women of Mzansi, take to the field. We're taking Idisti to new heights. Our home is football, and we love it here. Double save! Double save! Catch all the action of the Hollywood Bets Super League live on SABC One, S3, DTT, and also available on Telcom One. SABC Sport is the home of football. Welcome back. If you just joined us, two teams have certified their place in the finals of the qualifiers, of course, to get to the NFD. By that, both of them getting in. And, of course, I am talking about Mike Casey, who beat the Northwest University with a favorite and playing at home in the second round of matches today. The finals, of course, will be on Sunday and live right here on SABC Sports. Second off, a better half? You said it. Um, the team with the perfect record mm -hmm. in the group stages is out they are going back to play in ABC Mutiba. Mm. It goes to the fact that what uh, uh, Peter Musimani said during the CAF Champions League to say, Mamilo Risanas has got a perfect record. Let's see them now in the knockout stages of the CAF Champions League. They bombed out in the next round. Now you're going now into Northwest to say, perfect record, the only team to win two games in the group stages. Mm. Where are they now? They are not in the Glad Africa. And the objective here was to be in the Glad Africa Championship. Well, there it is. As it stands at the moment, the two teams going through MM Platinum as well, of course, as Magese. But how did Magese go there? Trumpo, talk us through this goal here. This is um, in the second half now where we're watching. I mean, it's 47th minute, yeah. pretty early onwards. Oh, this is not the goal. Um, my mistake, of course. This oh, is not the goal, Trumpo. This, is, this, this is, is the attack. This is the goal, actually. Uh, it is? Yeah. Oh, Pumudzu. Well, well, is this? well, uh, uh, yeah? <laughs> well, I, I, th I think it was well, well, well taken by, by, by the striker. Looking at the fact that uh, he tried to play a pass before, and, and, and me and Pumuzo, we, we were talking off air that he, he would have a shot from the first time here. He got a chance just to open his body and shot. Uh, we, as we were blaming him and complaining about that, he, he rectified that by th taking that good beautiful connection. shot. That's a good connection, a good technique. And he was comparing it to the to the uh, early goal. I was like, no, 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 they can't compare that. <laughs> <laughs> but I asked myself then, if you've got shooters that can hit it from yeah. outside the box like yeah. that, yeah. why haven't you been doing that all game? I think it, it goes back to uh, a player that has to apply the team's tactics and how you should express themselves in, in a, within the structure. Mm. So that's a contradiction where we, we, we get coached, but at the same time we're forgetting the technical and ability that we have as players. So sometimes, sometimes we, we, we get carried away with the tactics, forgetting that even within that structure you can still express yourself. And you can see he's got technique to, to strike the balls. He even shot that one hand when he hit his own uh, teammate. Mm. That you can see that is something that he's, he's capable of doing. But because he's been stuck with the, with the fact that he still has to apply himself within the structure, that's what contradicts him. So a little bit of, of, of individual brilliance, a little bit of individualism helps here. 
It's a, it's a transitional goal because um, this is where Magezi are trying to clear the ball. And it's won by Mutweneng, uh, uh, the captain. He wins it there. On transition, they, they then start an attacking move. A good combination between Umutsipe and Nkabinde. But in that instance, they are thinking, why is Nkabinde passing the ball? Uh -huh. But as soon as he gets a second opportunity, he has got space and time. And when he has got space and time, the ball is bouncing. This is, this is what we call the ball bounced in his favor. As soon as the ball bounces in his favor, he connects on the volley. Before it lands on the second time, the the amanaka naka, the goal amanaka naka. Parani obo sina zune siminyanga itangela ni bola. The bola yoro rabu di. The bola ine do pesare kutrele zonga mambole pezi. Well taken goal. What a quality goal to bring uh, Northwest University back into the game. I thought they were going to take it a tempo higher after this, but the problem was they wanted to play nice football yeah. after equalizing. Yeah. Mm. They were trying to play small triangles where the, the angles were not allowing. They wanted to play entertaining football yeah. where the objective was win the game and get to Glad Africa. They wanted to play nice, nice football, but Jackie Lee Dwabas Magezi then said, we still have a weapon that you can't defend against, yeah. which is set place, and that's how they got the second goal. No, let's see it. Here it is. It's a set place for that uh, penultimate goal, the ultimate goal that did sink them. Once again, it comes in from a corner this time around. And by now, we expect that the goalkeeper will, Matane, struggle with this because we've seen how he is. They have been a threat, uh, Magezi, in, in set pieces, to be honest. They started very well with, with clear mind that they're going to threaten uh, the, the Northwest University with set pieces. We saw the, the first goal with the, with the, with the throw in, and then the set pieces. Even when they won this corner, you could see the, the striker was isolated. Uh, uh, in Baloy. So they're waiting for this moment to make uh, a corner, to, to make sure that he wins corner for, for the team. So that they knew how, 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 how suspicious the, the, the goalkeeper has been throughout the match, to be honest. Because with the long ball that was hanging in front of, in, in front of him, he couldn't deal the, with them convincingly. So they, sh they sh tried so hard, so hard to work on that and you could see that Magezi was experienced enough in that mm -hmm. regard to make sure that they, they delay the, the, the Northwest University by, uh, by, by making sure that they keep the, the lower block in, in front of their midfielder so that they, can, they cannot uh, combine those passes. So when they were looking for the long balls, which Northwest University, they've never trained that. You can see that they are a ball play playing team. They look to combine every time. But with this match, I think uh, Magezi came up with a good plan by making sure that they delayed them as possible. And Pramodo, it's the same thing. I, I look at that and I wonder, Matani, what are you doing? There was no danger in that ball. There was no pace on that ball. There was no vigor in that ball. It's floated in back towards you. You are in your line where you're protected by the referee even. The lack of goalkeeping principles for Matane is what let him down. His positioning and... Um, when you go to the, to, to the goal that is being scored, uh, the ball is brought in into the far post. And when it's brought, it, uh, when it's brought into the far post, look at the movement of, of, of Mahoha, jersey number 20, trying to attack that, that, that far post. He reads the flight of the, of the ball very well. He connects and brings that ball back into play. Mm -hmm. When that ball gets back into play, the advantage is to Northwest University. But the determination and the hunger to get there from uh, Rasibona, the captain, it's is far bigger than the, de the defensive team. He gets there, he missed the ball at the highest point. The goalkeeper's positioning, he's retreating. Mm -hmm. When you are retreating as a goalkeeper, you're not in control. Mm -hmm. And one thing that he, he did wrong is he read the flight of the ball wrong. He is yeah. past his far post. You don't move and you go past your, your, your near post as a goalkeeper. That is wrong. And that's what, he, that, that's what he does. The weakness that we saw from him in this game, this is something that... He needs to watch. His family needs to, needs to tell him. Maybe the technical team will also update him. His positioning, his handling, and his reading of the game is poor. And his, as a goalkeeper, you have to be a good communicator. Mm -hmm. You have to say, keep us ball. You have to communicate left shoulder, right shoulder. That's something that was lacking from his game when we, when we watched the game today. But unfortunate for him, he will grow. He's a young man. He will learn from these mistakes. And hopefully next season, when he comes to the playoffs again, he will be a better player. And a lot of uh, footwork, perhaps, for him uh, to be a little bit quicker on his feet. Uh, we're going to take a quick break now. When we come back on the other side, it's time to shut it all down and say our goodbyes. Remember, though, that on Sunday, that's the big one. We're going to break now. Okay, cool. We have another five minutes that we can go on. Thank you so much. Uh, graceful for the time there. Uh, let's go to 
Um, we're coming to here and see yet another moment. Um, this is late on now, in the 71st minute. You know, one team is trying to consolidate, the other team is trying to fight for it all. Good ball placed there. Ah, oh, my daughter, Trump. I, I personally, I personally uh, uh, blamed uh, Gabinde there mm. because he, he showed us what he's capable of with that goal that he scored. And here, he has been given enough time to, to even look at the goalkeeper and, and, and strike it again. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want to take that responsibility. I don't yeah. know why. He then passes the responsibility to another player, which was not even in front of goals. He was the one in front of goals. And we saw what he can do. But uh, I believe, you know, in this stage where we, we can easily talk from here because it's our comfort of our chest. But I agree then with what Klopp said a little bit earlier to say mm. he's looking at the group tactics of what the coach has said because mm. even in the goal that he scores, mm. it fell on him and he didn't have a choice but to hit it now. But initially, he was doing the exact same thing. He, he was passing pass. the responsibility on. Mm. He, he has already scored his second goal of the playoffs. In that instant, you don't expect him to pass on responsibility. The goal that he scored, he was passing on responsibility. It deflects off the defender. It bounces nicely for him. Then he, has, he unleashes an unstoppable shot. He scores the goal. The pass that he's playing wide to Mutsepe, he's in the very same position. Hit it because you've got, got space, the space mm. and the time. Yeah. You've got the space and the time. You've got the time to then eye where the goalkeeper is and then have the shot. He sees where the goalkeeper is, but he wants to pass on responsibility. That is one thing that he will learn. The learnings that they are taking from this, they need to correct, maybe, so that they can come back to the playoffs, because it's not easy to come back. Well, let's take a look at Kabinde again. I mean, he was the danger man, and if they were to come back, this was the only man that could have saved them at some point. This is five minutes after that moment there. Yeah. Yeah, when you look at, at this moment again, it's a ball that he's played in. He's, he's trying to get there. It's, it's not an inch-perfect uh, ball for him to get at the end of, but uh -uh. the hunger, the determination, he knows that he is the man. He's the key to unlock that defense of Magezi again. Mm -hmm. The ball that is, is played inside, it's, it's a good reverse, reverse pass that is being made. Just unlucky not to get there. What, oh, what, yeah. what I like about him is so he's a positive player. You can see how, how mm. hard he works for mm. the team. He's trying so hard to threaten the last line, which for me, I, I take the positive out of that. But the, when, when, when he get those opportunities, why is he uh, giving somebody else's responsibilities? Because he's got ability, ability to score goals. We saw uh, the goal that he scored. That's a difficult goal for, yeah. for, 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 for that level, for a player on, on that level. To, to hit it the first time on a half volley, I believe he's got that technique. So with so many moments that he has created for himself in this match, he, he let himself down by, by not making sure that he expresses himself more in that moment. Well, when you speak about delightful passes, this was possibly one of my favorite moments of the game here. Yeah. Absolutely enjoyed this. The entire move for Muzo was uh, delightful to watch. Coming off the bench here and take mm. a look. Go on, is that. But the key mm. here now is that I to do that. Yeah, I, th I thought um, they took off Baloi. I thought he, he ran his, his socks off. Uh, Mahoto came into the game, uh, jersey number seven. Uh, they were playing on break attack. They were playing on transition. Look at uh, Maposha making oh, that, that late run into the box. The reverse pass, inch perfect. The only thing that I can maybe complain about from U U Maposha is that he waited for the ball to come to him, which made the angle very difficult. But we need to give it uh, to, okay. to Matena uh, okay. at some point in that yeah. instance to say it's a great save. Actually. That was a great save. That was a great save from a goalkeeper. And I think that he could build from that. You know, mm. as a goalkeeper, you want moments that will make sure that you, 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 you look for the positive. It's a, it's a very, uh, di di very di difficult di uh, department to be a goalkeeper, to be honest. One mistake, uh, we're looking at you, this to say, you, you cost us the game. Yeah. But to be honest, the goalkeepers are the most important uh, players in the field of play. And you can only build from them when they are confident enough to make sure that they marshal those defenders. Uh, to be honest, that's a great uh, save that I believe if he can take opposite, opposite, positive out of this match, he could, he could start with it with that save. Well, there you go. That's it. That's the story as we brought it to you. And I'm glad to confirmation of those results. Uh, final on Sunday. It's MM Platinum that take on Maki CFC. It's live on SABC1. The two matches we gave you today, MM Platinum and Sphere of the Nation, Maki CFC and Northwest is how it all ended. From that man there, his name is Pumuzo Manager. This guy here, his name is Shompo Kekan, myself, and the entire SABC sports team. Pella, Pella. That's so, all. Hey.
On today's episode, we check out some Indonesian water skiing. Play soccer with some German bubble boys. Get pile drive. 